Hello and welcome to more Pokemon! It is time for the finale of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. We just have to go and do Victory Road and the Elite Four. Here's our team, dude. We've got Soggy Toast, we've got Vegeta, Xbox, Old Mold, Sir Pickle, and Froggy. I just have to hope they can actually survive through Victory Road. So let's go heal up and let's get started, guys. We gotta head to Evergrande and uh, let's go from there. I don't know if there's any easy way out of here, so we'll just go down and walk out, I guess. Don't read this message. Crud! Okay, let's walk out. Does anything happen? No. So when we leave, nothing happens. We're gonna go try to find the Pokemon Center. I can't remember which side it's on. It might be on the right. So let's check the right side here. Is it up here? There it is. Okay, so we'll go heal up. Now, Evergrande, I think... There's not really much to do there except for just go directly into Victory Road. I don't think there's any more side stops or anything like that. I predict Psycho will lose the run today. Holy crud. We very well might. Because, guys, today we are going to beat the game. We're going to either beat the Elite Four or die trying. No matter how long it takes, we will do it today. But the thing is, well, Froggy's level 36. A lot of my guys are very low 40s. And keep in mind, the last three trainers in the Elite Four have nothing below level 50. In fact, the highest Pokemon in the Elite Four is 58. So, we're probably gonna have to grind. I, I think we're either gonna have to grind or just throw the run away because if even one of those Pokemon is even half decent, then the run's pretty much just instantly over. Let's go down here. That is true though, guys. We could put away Froggy, we could get out the level 70, and we could evolve them. That level 70 might be able to carry us to victory if it's something good. So, let's go do that. We're gonna head to Evergrande. I think Evergrande does have a Pokemon Center. So once we get there, we'll check that out. I think we just have to surf to the east here. The level 70 will be Dunsparce. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we'll, we'll check out what the level 70 is. Now, Froggy could be good if we level them. At level 36, they're gonna be basically useless, though. The Victory Road trainers are not that bad. Victory Road mostly has level 42s, 43s. I think there's a battle in there that might have like a 46, but it's all stuff that we could probably deal with. Hello, Moltres. Wow, I wish we could catch this guy, but we can't. Man, Moltres is really thick. Holy crud. You should put away Xbox. I don't know about that, dude. Xbox, I mean, he hasn't been a great battler. That's true. I mean, we could put away Xbox. And get the level 70 instead. Oh, crud, we got a trainer. Do you guys think we should put away Xbox for the level 70, or should we put away Froggy? Out comes Kangaskhan. This guy's only 34. We probably should have beat this guy up long ago. So out he comes. We'll go for Drill Pick. I guess Xbox is going to be pretty useless for the Elite Four. Can I watch this tomorrow? Yeah, sure, dude. I'll, I'll be uploading the full video to YouTube as soon as the stream is over. Bench Froggy keep Xbox. I, I feel more attached to Xbox because we've had him for so long, but at the end of the day, if we want to actually just have the strongest team, I think it might be Froggy because Xbox has a bunch of HMs, not very good. On top of Yanman, that's not being a very good battler to begin with. So Hoenn map. Yeah, Evergrande should be like right down here. Wait, do we have to dive to get to Evergrande or do we just surf there? I didn't even think about that. Keep Xbox for Victory Road. We could do that. It is just Surf? Okay. I know eventually we have to use Waterfall. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If I look at the Pokenab, you can see I'm kind of right next to it. it. Looks like I have to go down a little bit, but we're we seem to be cut off. So maybe we have to go this way and then down. Maybe I kind of got stuck in a little alcove or something. I don't know, man. Aha, this feels right. <laughs> Speaking of precious baby, we got Azuril. Have you played Pokemon Reborn? No, the only Pokemon fan game I've played is Uranium. I don't think 128 was a new route. I think we've I think we've gone through all the water routes on the last episode. We went through a lot of these. We caught tons of stuff. Down and right, we'll do it. We'll go down and right here. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to keep those HMs for Victory Road. You're right, because we're gonna have to have strength, most likely. I don't think we need cut. But we'll probably need strength. We'll probably need... We, I know we need Waterfall. The Waterfall is, I think, on... Uh, well, actually, Waterfall is on Xbox, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'm finding so many Azrails. Wait, is this the route where we found that Latios? Let's go down. Oh, right. No, Latios was, I think, 130. There it is. Evergrande City. Oh, we can catch this. We can catch this. Okay, it's a Venonat. <laughs> I'll still catch it, but, well, gosh dang it. Let's go to our bag here. And let's just, let's just chuck an Ultra Ball. I'm not even going to put him to sleep here. We'll just hope this works straight up. Come on, Venonat. You can't catch that. What? But we're in Evergrande. I don't think I've ever been to Evergrande before. Oh my gosh, you're right. I am Bug Catcher Wahe. Did you even teach Waterfall? Now that you mention it, I don't think I did. I think I got Dive, but not Waterfall. Come on. Get in the ball. Stay there. Thank you, Venonat. Okay, we got him. They're only level 23. I think... I think they need like 10 levels to evolve, so probably never going to see what this turns into. The insect Pokemon. Okay, what can we name? Oh, dude. We're gonna name him... Instead of Venonat, he's gonna be none of that. Oh, wait, I spelled it wrong. None of... Ah, oh, jeez. None of that. I don't even know what that means, but that's what we're naming him. Okay, well, let's see what we're missing out on. What could we have caught instead of Venonat? Okay, just Growlithe. I think Growlithe is a Pokemon that evolves by Firestone, so we could have evolved them more easily. No not hat. No, no nat. Okay, okay, too many hats, dude. So here we have to use Waterfall. And no, we don't have it. So we have to go teach another Water HM here. I probably should learn Toxic and Spore while we're at it, but we'll get those eventually. Okay, let's get Waterfall. Everyone can learn it, of course. I guess we're going to go ahead and teach it to Froggy, because Froggy has some pretty weak moves. I do want to teach them Toxic eventually, but, I mean, like, when am I ever going to use half this stuff? So we'll go ahead and get rid of Haze. Why don't you like Repels? Mostly just because I'm lazy. But also, I do like to see what Pokemon we could catch in the area, so not having Repels on gives us some chances for that. Let's climb that waterfall and make our way to Victory Road. I really hope we don't need Waterfall again, because I'm going to deposit Froggy right now and go get out our level 70, because I want to try to Digivolve them. Did you ever play RuneScape? Technically, I played it back in like 2003 or something, but I wasn't very into it. Um, but I do enjoy watching Swampletics on YouTube. Okay, let's get Mini Noodle out of here. You do need Waterfall. Gosh dang it. Okay, who are we going to have to deposit then? Uh, you know what, guys? We're going to just not do Victory Road uh, quite yet. We're going to grind just enough to level up one time here. Just so we don't have to carry them with us. So we'll go ahead and just deposit Old Mold or something. And we'll just give them the experience share. We'll grind up just one level real quick. Dude, I wish we had a rare candy, but we don't. Um... So let's go see. I should have another experience share. I'm going to want to take the one off of... Uh, I, I want to take the one off of Froggy as well. Let's give that to Mini Noodle. There we go. Go back to our Pokemon. Let's take the one off Froggy. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go... I, honestly, they probably don't even need the experience share. They're level 70. They could probably just battle themselves. So we'll put them up front here. No, Xbox does not have an item. You can't trick me, dude. So let's go ahead. We're going to grind one level on Shuppet just to get them to evolve. We'll see what they turn into. If I'm going to grind up my team, I think I will grind them after Victory Road, not before. Because Victory Road... I, we have the levels for Victory Road. We just don't have the levels for the actual Elite Four. Okay, can we find anything here? Let's turbo. There we go. Probably going to find a bunch of Venonats. I think Hyper Voice is going to be my main go-to. Oh gosh, this is not going to be quick leveling. Well, Turbo will help out, I guess. But sorry in advance for the uh, crazy Turbo sounds, guys. So we'll get through this as fast as we can. It's just one Pokemon. And maybe every every like few battles I should check and see if we got an, a rare candy from Xbox. Because that could definitely help us out. Just go inside Victory Road. That is a genius idea. Holy crud. Alright, guys. We're going to... We're going to go inside Victory Road just enough to level up this Shuppet. Because that is going to be way better leveling than Evergrande will be. Here we go. Oh, and we can catch this too. 
All right, we can catch us. Okay, we can catch us a level 40 Lugia. All right, dude. Okay, I'm gonna swap over to Sir Pickle. Let's get this guy put to sleep. This is awesome. This might go right on the team if we can catch it. Do not explode. Rock throw, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, that didn't actually hurt that bad. Does he have speed boost? Lugia with speed boost? Okay, okay, don't critical. Do not flinch, I don't even know if Rock Throw can flinch. Get him to sleep, please. Thank you, all right guys. Get ready to hold down B. You see what happens when I try to damage legendaries. It never works out well. So instead of that, let's just go and throw some balls. I'm pretty good at just catching stuff straight up. So let's go for that Ultra Ball. Let's get it, guys. Come on, Lugia. One, two, no, it's not gonna be that easy. Don't wake up. Fast asleep, we get another shot. If there was ever a time to hold down B while wiggling your foot, while jumping and pressing the circle button, now is the time, guys. Let's catch this crud. Uh-oh. Don't wake up. Fast asleep, we get another shot. I kind of want to sort of not have Sir Pickle out here because they're going to get wrecked, but it's okay. Ultra Ball, go. Catch this Lugia. Yes. 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 No. Come on, game. He woke up. He woke up. Uproar. Okay, we need to swap. We need to swap, dude. I guess I'm just going to not put him to sleep. Uh, I think we're going to go over to Old Mold. Now, Old Mold, guys, ha... I deposited Old Mold. Gosh dang it. I was going to say Old Mold has Nightshade, which we could damage him with. Uh, uh, okay. We're going to send out Mini Noodle, I guess, and we'll just start chucking balls. It's okay. We're level 70. He can't do crud to me. And also, if he uproars, it can't affect me. So that that's useful. All right. They calm down. Good. So we're going to go back to our bag. I guess we're just going to throw a regular Pokeball, guys. They're not asleep. They're not damaged. Regular Pokeball. Lowest possible catch chances. Let's see if we can get it. Come on. No, I thought we had it. I thought that was the trick. Rock throw coming in. Wow, that does a decent little chunk there. Uh, you know what? Premier Ball. Our one Premier Ball. We got this off of our Pikachu when we caught them. Come on, game. Yes? No. <laughs> no. Use a move. I could, but I, I just don't want to kill it, dude. I've had such bad luck with this crud. Guys, if I do one Hyper Voice, will it kill it? 1.5% chance with Ultra Ball. You'll kill? I'll probably kill. Okay, I'm not going to damage, guys. We're just going to keep doing our chances. We're going to keep doing our chances here. Ultra Ball going in. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, we got Lugia. Yes, dude. That is going directly on the team. The diving Pokemon. I just don't know what to give him in place. Let's go. Let's go name them, guys. What do we name Lugia? They're an actual whale. Name it Giratina. Yo, does that does that crazy whale from Link's Awakening have a name? We can name it after that thing. We'll name it Belug Belugia. That's a pretty good name. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Name it Latios. I don't know about that. Name it Normal. I don't know, guys. Belugia is a pretty good name. He's a Belugia whale. Windfish. Okay, guys. Do we name it Belugia? Like a Beluga whale? Or do we name it Pico? <laughs> Arwing. Lucio because he has speed boost. That's true. Alright, guys. We're gonna name him Pico. <laughs> Cause why not, dude? Pico! Yes! So, we are gonna stick to the plan. I'm still going to level up this mini noodle, get them to evolve. So we'll do that first, but then we're gonna go get Lugia. We already know what their ability is, but we don't know their entire moveset. So, anyways, let's get back to grinding. Okay, we gotta take down Soul Rock, which actually might be pretty tough here. Uh, never mind, we got him. So much better experience in here than we had outside. 
Let's see. How much would Hyper Voice have done to that Lugia if we actually did this? Oh my gosh, we could have totally done that, no problem. No! Gosh dang it, dude! What just happened? Gosh. Okay. Guys. Okay, guys. I know this is kind of breaking the rules. I will release Mini Noodle, but can we at least level him up just to know what he was going to be? Just to know what we're actually releasing? Can we do that? Okay, okay. So we have to release it no matter what, but we are going to just level it up real quick just to see what we're losing. So we're going to keep turboing. Now that we don't have to worry about the, them dying, we can play a bit more not so safe. Which I guess apparently I was already not playing safe because extra sensory did a billion damage. Huge experience from that guy. Whoops, did not mean to go out there. Man, Lugia is actually pretty common here, apparently. Wow, Extra Sensory does a lot. I'm just gonna run away. Man, Lugia's scary to grind off of, that's for sure. I'll probably just end up running from Lugia for now, because we just don't have a very good attack. Oh, Trico, hello! There we go. Ah, oh, jeez, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. No, dude! Gosh dang, Extra Sensory does too much damage! It almost one-shots me, even though he's 30 levels below me. I just get in there. Sometimes Turbo is pretty rough, dude. Xbox has an item. Oh, dude, Xbox has an item. It's gonna be a rare candy. It's a protein. Gosh dang it. Well, protein, we can sell that and we can buy some full restores. So that's that's still fine. Okay, Trico's, Trico's pretty easy to take down, at least. Darn it, Lugia. We're gonna have to run from Lugia. It's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. I think it's still worth... Uh, battling here. Persian, there we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Getting some good experience. Revenge going in. Do another one of those. Alright, yeah. I'm definitely digging this. Okay, use protect. Kind of wasting our time. Almost getting that level up there. Get that revenge. Boom. Oh, so many cool Pokemon in this place. War Turtle going in. I mean, Soul Rock. I actually like Soul Rock a lot. I don't see anyone, like, ever use Soul Rock, but I actually like them quite a bit. I like them a lot more than Lunatone. I was never a big fan of Lunatone, but Soul Rock, definitely like them. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Oh my gosh, it's Bubsy! We're almost there, guys. We're almost going to see what we just lost. Hopefully it's something... Uh, you know, if I was actually gonna get it, I would hope it was really good, but because I'm gonna lose it, I kinda hope it's something bad. Okay, maybe we could actually kill it this time. There we go. So this should be it. There it is. Level 71. What do we have to release? Let's find out. Mini Noodle is evolving. And we have to release... <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with this, dude. I don't need no stinking legendary babies. Get him out of here. No thank you. See, we didn't lose out on crud, dude. Man, that is just so poetic for this run. The legendary was a baby. Because this run is the, the run of legendaries and babies. So we're going to go and get rid of that snake and eggly buff. We are getting Pico on the team here. Same type of attack bonus. Hyper voice. That is true. Uh, okay, real quick. I'm going to take the item off them. Let's go item. Take. I mean, they could evolve again. I just don't know how to evolve an Iglybuff. Evolve it again. Does Iglybuff evolve by leveling, or do we have to get friendship? I'm pretty sure it's not an easy evolution. Okay, let's go ahead and get Pico out. And, man, I really need to get Old Mold, but who would I deposit? I guess Froggy. So here's the plan, guys. We're going to deposit Froggy for now. Once we get to Victory... Once we get through Victory Road, we'll add Froggy in place of Xbox for the Elite Four. Oh, wow. Xbox has a full heal. Okay, let's get Old Mold back out. Pico killed Mini Noodle. It's true. It was a different Pico, though. Not this Pico. Okay, let's go item take. We got full heal here. And... I guess from there, we're just going to move on. So let's go heal up, guys, and we're going to actually enter Victory Road for real. Oh, wait, we have to release. You're right. We have to go release that baby. 
Okay, not even gonna turn off the happy music because I am pretty happy that if we had to release something, it could at least be an Iggly buff. So let's go to, not that, let's go to move Pokemon. All right, guys, final words for Mini Noodle, our level 71 Iggly buff. Uh, I guess we could check their ability real quick. Drizzle, summons rain. There's the moves. There's what we're losing out on. Let's go release some guys. They're not even, okay, you know what? They can have a circle. It's the great circle of life. Let's go, let's just go release Mini Noodle. It's a long dude. All right, so with that, we are going to go and finally do Victory Road. Here we go, guys. There's gonna be some pretty appropriate levels in here. There's gonna be lots of 40s we have to fight. And I don't actually know where I'm going, so we'll just see how this goes. Oh, we should definitely check Pico's moves. You're right. It's a bad time for rain. And Vegeta's pretty intimidating out there. I didn't even give him the circle. I canceled out of it. Whoops. Okay, let's check Pico here. Oh, we already know they have speed boost, but their moves... Uproar, Rock Throw, Extra Sensory, and Rain Dance. Hmm. I think Extra Sensory is very good for them. I don't know if anything else is actually very good. Yeah, there's the Wally battle at the end, guys. His highest level is going to be 46. Dude, there's so many Picos. So many Picos. Wait, what type is Lugia? I thought they were just pure Psychic, or Psychic Flying, but I don't know, man. Do you have Thunder? I, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, guys. Is it finally time? Do I finally need to just give in and go buy repels? You need waterfall? Okay, we'll get waterfall. Throw out the repels. Guys, I, I think we're gonna finally get them because the encounter rate in Victory Road is really high. So we're gonna go. I'm, I'm caving, guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go buy some repels. I'm sorry if I let you all down. So we're gonna fly to wherever. I'm just gonna turbo real quick, guys. We're just gonna get out, get in, get out. Let's go buy. Do we have any good repels? Max repels. I'm gonna buy like 20 of them, guys. Watch. The repels are gonna be the thing that ruins the run for me. I'm gonna get to the end of the Elite Four, and, and I'm gonna have like almost a winning situation. But if I just had like two more full restores, if I just had a, just a little bit more full restore action. Which, uh, I just spent the money on repels just now instead. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, for real this time. In we go. Let's go to our bag. Let's go use a repel. I'm sorry to let you all down, but you know what? For this one area, we're gonna go ahead and do it. So, let's get to exploring. Uh-oh! Suddenly, buttheads! What's up, Wally? -E? We got Wall E. We got Wall Ace. Here we go, guys. The final battle with Wally himself. Now, this guy is gonna have some Pokemon in the mid 40s or so. So, it might be a little bit tough. Here we have Skarmory. Now, Skarmory, I don't think we have. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We do have Eruption. So, I think Eruption's gonna be pretty good against this guy. Let's go, Vegeta. Get that super effective crud right there. This should be pretty good. Kill it with fire. We are. Yeah. We it one shot. Oh my gosh, critical hit! Good job, Vegeta! So level 44, down goes Skarmory. Four more Pokémon to go. Next up is Flareon. I guess we could just go, uh... Well, we could just do Surf on Vegeta. Man, we had Gyarados pretty much sweep the Gym Leader. Can we just have Vegeta sweep this gym, uh, this rival battle here? Let's go Surf. This should one-shot. There's no way he's gonna live through this. Oh my gosh, he lived! Icy win. that's no problem. That's no problem for Vegeta. Maybe a little bit of a problem for Rayquaza, but not for Kyogre. Critical hit as well. Flareon has good special defense. Oh, really? I thought they just had good attack for some reason. All right, we're going to heal up almost all of that damage with leftovers. And you know what? He's going to use a full restore right there. I am totally okay with that. So let's go hit him with another Surf. Now, there is the possibility that damage ranges will make this work. Nope. Okay, that's fine. We'll just hit him again. And you know what? We're gonna heal even more. We'll be full HP. Yeah, we're gonna grind before the Elite Four, guys. Zap Cannon? Ow! Hello, dude. Why does he have to hit that? It's only 50% accuracy. And now I'm stuck. Oh, crud. What do I do? So if I swap to Gyarados, they're obviously dead. 
Um, if I stay in, I might be dead if he critical hits me. I don't think I have anyone that can actually resist his crud very well. Guys, is my entire team except for Vegeta weak to rock type? Old mold? Okay, we'll do old mold here. Oh, here we go. There he goes. He goes for Zap Cannon. He misses. We're fine. We're going to go for Nightshade. Hydro Cannon. What the crud, Flareon? No! No, no! Okay. Okay, we're fine. Nightshade going in. Old Mold's okay, guys. We survived. Down goes Flareon. Three more Pokemon to go. 41 on Old Mold. Azumarill, dude? Okay. Do we have any electric attacks? Uh... Do we have any grass attacks? Uh. Uh. Is it time for just to just use Pico? Just let Pico destroy everything? I think we're just gonna let Pico destroy everything here, dude. Let's go. I think Sir Pickle would have been fine as well, but either way. Dude, look at that. I thought his spines were blue, but I guess he's got black spines there. Alright, let's go. And do, uh, I guess we'll just do extra sensory here. Come on, destroy this crowd. Level 43. Look how little that did. Ancient power. Okay, that didn't do crowd. We're fine. We don't have leftovers on Pico. He, his attack rose, though, and his defense rose. Oh, he got all the stat boosts. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's try again here. We'll just keep going for extra sensory, I guess. It's not going to do that much, but maybe we'll get lucky go to critical. Not going to happen. So we're going to have to do two more of those. I think we're fine, though. Here comes the sheer cold. No, please no. We are pretty much going to be in danger of one-hit KO moves for the rest of this run. Even if we grind to 50, the Elite Four is still going to have stuff high enough to one-hit KO us. They're raising their stats so much, I don't even know if I can kill them at this point. Yeah, Azumarill's pretty tanky. Come on, go down, Azumarill. No, dude, 1 HP. I think we're fine even with the critical, but still, that's pretty obnoxious. Uh, I'm so tempted to heal right now. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Because I don't, I don't want to risk just something stupid happening, so we're just gonna heal. We're just gonna heal. Let him go for Ancient Power again. We're fine, guys. I don't think he has a second full restore, so we don't have to worry about him hitting us again with that, or healing up again with that. Let's go fight. Extra sensory. And down goes Azumarill. Okay, three Pokemon down, two to go. I don't think we've dealt with his level 46 yet, though, so he still has his strongest Pokemon, Cradilly. Cradilly is Grass Rock, I think. Does that mean we should go back to Vegeta and do an Eruption? I don't know, because we're paralyzed. Uh, we could go do Cross Chop. I think that might be neutral, though. Oh, we could do Drill Pack. Yeah, that's true. Let's go do Drill Pack. Yeah, let's go do Drill Pack. I think that's pretty decent. I think Cross Chop might have been better, but uh, Drill Pack I think will be neutral, so that's fine as well. Keep in mind, we've got a uh, we've got a Choice Band on this guy as well, so Drill Pack does a lot of damage. Yep, look at that crud. No! No, 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 not Spark! Soggy Toast, we're fine. We're fine, Cradilly is not a great attacker, but we're paralyzed, which means we're going to be slower, which means we have to swap or we're dead. So, let's go over to Sir Pickle now. I am so glad Cradilly is not a great attacker. Holy crud. Spark coming in again. Yeah, if we didn't swap, we were dead. Let's go for, I guess, Cross Chop. Don't miss. Got him, there we go. Probably should have just done that to begin with, but down he goes. One Pokemon left, his strongest Pokemon, unless it's a Bellsprout. Let's see. No, it's Victory Bell. It's the evolved form of Bellsprout. Um, we could go for Sludge. That's neutral. We could try to go for Eruption on Vegeta, but they are a little bit low. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stay in right here, and we're gonna go for. Why the crud did I not teach Spore to Sir Pickle? We could have gone for that. Oh, this is 41. Never mind, guys. Never mind. I thought this was his strong Pokemon, but I guess we already beat the strong one. I thought he had a 46 at the end for some reason. But still, it's still an Evolved Bellsprout as his final Pokemon. Psycho Boost going in. Almost a kill right there. No fire. No fire, please. Heat Wave? Don't die, Sir Pickle. Don't die, Sir Pickle! Sir Pickle! Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go to back to Pico. We're gonna go back to Pico. 
This is so scary, dude. But no one's died yet. We're fine. He has another full restore. What? What? Why did he not use that on Azumarill? Okay, we're gonna go for psychic attacks here. This should be really good on Victory Bell. Come on, just one shot him. Yes, there we go, guys. Victory Bell is going down. We got him. Sir Pickle level 42. No deaths. No deaths right there, guys. We definitely need to heal. We need to go back and heal right now. I just have to not get unlucky and somehow die to a Lugia on the way back out. You know what? Do I have Dig still on uh, anyone? I don't, do I? I don't have Dig. Do we have an escape rope? Oh, wait, no, we do have Dig. We do have Dig on Old Mold. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to dig right out of here. We're going to heal. We'll come back in. I'm pretty sure that's the hardest part of Victory Road. I think it gets easier from here. Okay. Have you noticed the smiley in Wally's hair? I don't think I have. Old Mold saves the day. Man, Old Mold almost died. Soggy Toast almost died. Sir Pickle almost died. Vegeta almost died. They were- all of those Pokemon I just listed were one hit away from death at one point or another during that battle. <sighs> okay guys, victory road time. We still have the Max Repel on. We don't have to deal with Wally anymore, but we do, do still have some other random trainers. I guess we're gonna go ahead and lead with Vegeta. Let's get to it. All of these trainers have the possibility of just having some random really strong crud. Teach Sir Pickle Spore, that is a great idea. Five out of six of your team is weak to rock. Four out of six is weak to electric. I know, dude. It's really bad. Okay, Vegeta versus Graveler. Great battle for that. This guy is level 45. I was not kidding, guys. The Victory Road Trainers are pretty decent levels. They're nothing compared to the, to the Elite Four, but they're still going to all be pretty tough. All right, Vegeta 41. That's it for Weightlifter Kimberly. Um, once we get to the Elite Four, I'm gonna swap Xbox out for Soggy- not for Soggy Toast, for Froggy, and we're going to level them up. Okay, let's go learn Spore. I just gotta hope that Sir Pickle could actually learn it. Okay, he can, good. So yeah, Spore is just strictly better than, um, than Sleep Powder, so let's get that in place. Sleep Powder is 75% accuracy, Spore 100% accuracy, same PP and everything, it is just straight up better. So now we have a 100% sleep chance. That might have been good on Lugia with uh, with speed boost, but oh well. Let's just keep going. Oh, guys, we're in the dark. Um, I don't really want to teach anyone Flash, though. So we're going to do this in the dark, I guess. This is going to be miserable. Here we go. Yeah, I don't really want to delete anyone's moves just to get Flash for this one area. Oh, gosh. Strength puzzles in the dark. This is not going to be good, is it? I guess we'll push this down. That didn't work out. We have crud. <laughs> Gosh dang it, game. Flash is needed. I mean, I can't teach it to Xbox because they already have 4HM, so it would have to go on someone else. I could go, go do the move deleter afterwards, but that would only work if I had like a good TM to replace it with. Uh. Alright, who are we going to teach Flash to? I guess we'll teach it to Pico, because Pico doesn't have that many good moves. So we'll get that in place of, I guess, in place of uproar. Now Xbox already has four HMs, guys. We can't, uh, we can't learn it in place. As far as I know, we can't learn one HM in front of another. Maybe we could, and I just goofed, but I don't think we can. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use Flash. Now we can actually kind of see. It's still a little bit dark here. So I think what they want us to do is push this to the side, and then push the other one to the side as well, instead of pushing it down. Just get a map. Yeah, I mean, that would probably be pretty handy, but we got this crud. Let's go Rock Smash this. Thankfully, we still have Rock Smash. When did you get Pico? We caught him in Victory Road here. Okay, so we've got Omanyte. Keep in mind, Repels only block Pokemon that are below your level. So because this guy is 42, even with Repel, it's still not enough. <laughs> Lord Helix. There he is, man. Is there still a Lord Helix emote on Twitch? Oh, we got random trainer. Okay. Why didn't you get rid of rain dance? I don't know, man. 
Okay, Weightlifter Kami with Machop, that should be no problem. I mean, that would be even easier for our Gyarados, but I think Vegeta can deal with it as well. Let's go for Surf. And one shot. So he's got two more Pokemon still. Let's see what he's got here. Next up is Cloyster. I don't really have anything that good against that. Maybe Cross Chop is pretty good. Yeah, Wallace's level 58 is probably going to be ridiculous. That's the thing. The last three trainers in the Elite Four are all level 50 plus. So there's like 16 Pokemon in a row that are all level 50 or higher. If any one of those Pokemon is actually good, if I don't grind, we're basically just instantly dead. So I do plan to grind my team to level 50. I don't know if I should go even higher than that, but I think, I think level 50 is a bare minimum. There we go. Next up is Wooper. Man, I wish I had a grass attack, but I don't. I guess we'll just go do some uh, Drill Peck here. Did you catch Lugia or evolve it? I, I caught it. We found it here in uh, Victory Road. Oh man. Why are you guys saying, oh man? Yo, what's up, Ethan? Dude, we caught a gosh dang Lugia. Okay. So with that, we're done with that guy. We're going to move on. Hopefully not get lost too much in here. I don't know how much of this place is just going the right way and how much of it is like side paths that we're going to get dead ends and just find items and crud. Oh yeah, while catching Lugia, our level 70 Pokemon died. Just a, just a small detail there. But we, we evolved the level 70 anyways just to see what it would turn into and it turned into an Iggly buff, so not a huge loss. Hopefully this is not the wrong way. Okay, we got another trainer. If I find trainers, I'm going to just assume that it's going the right way, but we'll see. Is this loss? I hope not. Weightlifter Leo. Cyndaquil coming out. No problem there. Psycho using Max Repel. I'm kind of scared of Lugia, because if we find Lugia and somehow we're not able to run away and then they get a critical on me or something, so I, I want to play a little bit safe. Also, I just want to get through here with a reasonable efficiency without having to abuse turbo or anything. Also, gosh dang it, dude, it's Bunwiz. I kind of want to do something, guys. So, today is the finale. Today is where the run either wins or fails. We probably will have a post-game episode sometime next week. I feel like the best way we could possibly end this series, assuming we get this far, guys, Assuming we actually get to post-game, if we die, there's gonna, not going to be a post-game episode, obviously. But assuming we get there, I feel like the most fitting way to end the series is catching a Swinub, leveling it up, and seeing what Bunwiz was going to be all this time. You know, after we've caught the legendaries, after we've fought Steven, I feel like we should do that. Um, do we need to surf? I guess we're going to find out. That would be the best way to end it. Gosh dang it. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably do that. But I have to actually beat the Elite Four first. Armaldo, hey buddy. I mean, Armaldo's pretty cool, but we caught a gosh dang Lugia in this place. It's not much better than a Lugia. Uh, can you guys think of anything that we could have found that would be better than Lugia in Gen 3? Okay, we got ourselves a TM37. We already have that TM, dude. All right. Well, we have two flame wheels now. Another trainer. <laughs> Dunsparce. Okay, except for Dunsparce. Do you guys think Groudon is better than Lugia? Weightlifter Zoe. Okay, we got Exeggutor. Well, I guess I'll go for Eruption. I was kind of hoping that... Uh, or I kind of wish I had Gyarados out so I could just use Drill Peck. But Eruption should be pretty good too. Catch Lost Member in postgame. Were there any other Pokemon that we had that we never got to see evolve? I mean, not from Wahei 1 or Wahei 2, because obviously we can't go back to those. Actually, I technically could, but... Okay, got Tyro coming in. Let's go get Soggy Toast. Windows XP. Oh, I guess... Yeah, I guess Windows XP does get to evolve in this game. We actually caught a new... We actually have a new uh, Porygon, so we could evolve them. But that Porygon had a different ability than Windows XP, so I do wonder if uh, they would evolve into something different than Windows XP would have. Oh, yeah, Pikachu Lupa as well. Armaldo. 
I can't actually change my attacks, I just realized, but this should still be neutral. And not a one-shot, but headbutt should not do too much. That was a decent chunk. This random weightlifter has full restore. Gosh dang it. Different ability does not change evos. Oh, okay. Porygon evolves into Windows 98. There you go. Actually, that'd be more like a devolution. No, we evolved Venus Toys. We, they turned into a... Uh, they turned into Kecleon. Alright, we got them. Let's go on down. I guess we're gonna go across the bridge. Gosh dang, Cleffa. Oh no, it's Clefairy. Level 42 Clefairy. Run away! Guys, with, uh, with repels, is it Pokemon that are... If a Pokemon is an equal level, can you still run into them? Or is it only if they're lower? Or only if they're higher, I mean. You know what, dude? I don't feel like messing around. We're gonna send out both of our gosh dang legendaries against this battle. Let's go. Same and higher, gotcha. So even if I had my level 42 leading, we could still run into stuff. I think if we get 43, then we could stop running into stuff, though. Weightlifter Marilyn and Weightlifter P. Two Pokemon each. Out comes Meowth and Zapdos. Dude, I was talking about how Zapdos is my biggest weakness on my team. They have electric and flying. My team is super weak to that crud. Well, this is scary. I guess we're going to go for... Surf? And then we're going to go for extra sensory... I, actually, we're going to go for... Oh, gosh. I think we're going to go for extra sensory. I think with same type attack bonus, it's better than rock throw. So we're going to go for that. I'm hoping this will defeat Meowth. Please defeat Meowth. Okay, we got Meowth down with a critical there. So that's good. And let's see how much we do to Zapdos. Pretty good chunk. Okay, okay. Let's hope that extra sensory does a lot of damage. Metacross! Okay, we can eruption, but if we get hit by an electric attack, we're gonna have to swap one of these guys. Extra sensory, good chunk! Thunderbolt! Why does Zapdos actually have Thunderbolt, dude? Vegeta, do not die. Vegeta, okay. He did not get a critical. We're gonna heal up with leftovers. If I go for Surf... Okay, guys, we're faster. We are faster, so I could kill this guy before he gets a chance to hit me but I think we're gonna swap to old mold I'm so worried about Lugia if Lugia gets hit by Thunderbolt I think they're gonna die uh we could heal with with Pico's turn that's true but if they get a critical we're still dead uh, okay no way Lugia would die is Lugia also a special tank because I, I know Vegeta's a special tank and it still did a lot of damage to me so we're gonna fight we're going to go for Extra sensory on Zapdos. I hope it's enough. I think it will be enough. Please be enough, game. Kill the stinking Zapdos, my biggest fear in this game. Yes, we got him. Okay. Down goes Zapdos. Level 42 on Vegeta. Metagross is still out. And they also have Regirock. What is this stinking team, dude? Megahorn. Okay, it's just on Pico. That should not do crud. Ah, oh, that actually did a pretty good chunk. Pico does not have leftovers, keep that in mind. We're gonna go for... I guess Leech Seed on Metagross, and we're gonna go for... What do I even want to do? What do I even want to do? I kind of want to swap, but who would I even swap to? We'll go for... Extra Sensory on Regirock? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. I kind of want to swap to Sir Pickle, but he'd be weak to Rock. But he'd have a fighting attack, at least. Ah, that didn't do that much. Megahorn misses. Thank goodness, dude. Sludge. This might be a juicy pickle. No, that didn't do crud, but we are poisoned. I think I do have some full restores that Xbox found for me. We get the leech seed. That's good. We can start chipping away at him here. Swap to Vegeta. Vegeta's already hurt, though. Yeah, that is true. We, we could surf and do a lot. I just don't want to swap and then instantly die. I know electric and rock are my team's weaknesses, dude. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's go to... I kind of want to heal with P with Old Mold's turn. And then have Pico do some damage. Heal up Vegeta, the new Surf. Okay, okay. Here's the plan, guys. We're going to heal with a Hyper Potion on Vegeta. And then with Pico's turn, we're going to heal Pico. So we'll just do an entire turn of healing. I'm even going to use the Forest Store. Just get that poison off of me, dude. So we'll just heal... We're healing both and then we'll swap. Megahorn going in. 
I think I want to swap out Pico for Vegeta, leave Old Mold in, because they can take a hit a little bit better. Unless they have Fire Blast! Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Why do they think that would do a lot? I don't know, man. Old Mold almost never takes a lot of damage. We're fine. Okay. Old Mold's healed back up from the Leap Seed. We're going to go fight. Let's go Nightshade over on that Red Rock. We're going to go to Pokemon. And let's get Vegeta out here right now. Vegeta should be able to take these hits. Old Mold should be able to take these hits, obviously. Megahorn going in. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. That's a pretty good chunk. Fire Blast once again. Even with the burn, I think we're fine. Critical hit. Nightshade going in. So I think what we're going to do, guys, we're going to Surf, and we're going to Nightshade on Metagross. So Surf should kill that Regirock. Old Mold is easy mode. Dude, he almost got one shot earlier. Okay. We're good. Let's go. Gosh dang it. Just, just finish your leftovers. Finish your leech seating. Let's go back to fight. My controller. I think my controller is dying or something. I don't know. We're going to go Nightshade on Metagross. We're going to go Surf. Here we go, guys. This should kill Regirock. I don't think it's going to kill Metagross, though. Nope, not quite. But I think the Nightshade will take him down. Dude, 666 experience points, three ways. Megahorn coming in. We already know even with the critical, this can't kill us, right? Oh, maybe it could have. I don't know. This should finish him off, though. There we go, guys. The gosh dang team that had Zapdos, Metagross, and Regirock going down. I mean, I guess Meowth was kind of a freebie. But aside from that, that was a tough battle. Okay, let's go back to our bag. We're going to heal up some crud here. We do have a couple max potions, but I think hyper potions are good enough for now. We're going to top up Vegeta. Dude, you know what? I don't even care. I know this is a waste, but we have 36 hyper potions. I'm going to go ahead and get everyone topped completely up right now. Probably could just use, you know, soda pop or something instead, but whatever. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and swap my team around a little bit here. We keep running into stuff where I'm like, man, I wish Soggy Toast was up front. So I'm going to have Soggy Toast to actually be up front here. And let's keep going. Hopefully that is the toughest battle we have. Let's see if this one's tough. Use your soda pops. Oh. All right, Weightlifter Marilyn. Okay, Poliwhirl, that's not bad. Where did Lugia come from? We got Lugia in uh, Victory Road here. Drill Peck going in. Got him. Dude, we've had some crazy battles today. We've had the rival battle was insane. That battle we just fought was insane. Jolteon coming in. Probably don't want Soggy Toast for that. Let's go do Sir Pickle. Whew. Registeel on Wall Ace. Please no Registeel. I guess we could hit it with uh, Cross Chop, but I'm pretty sure Registeel has a buttload of gosh dang defense, so I don't even know if Cross Chop would do that much. We'd probably have to go for a Leech Seed tactic because we can't use Toxic on him. Nice good chunk there. I'm going to go for Sludge, I think. Hopefully that'll finish him off. Air Cutter. Uh, that's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Piccolo P. We got the, uh, we got Spore on him now instead of Sleep Powder, so Spore is extremely good. Look at all that experience. Okay, one more trainer down. I don't know how many there are still to go. I kind of wish that Flash actually uncovered the whole screen and not just part of it. Darn it, Clefairy. run away here. We're like one little tiny sliver of experience away from 43. Once we get 43, I think we'll stop having random encounters. Oh, this guy's guarding the ball. We're gonna do it, guys. No balls left behind. We're gonna go beat this guy up. Let's see, we've got ourselves Weightlifter Jasmine with four Pokemon, starting off with Beldum. Well, that looks like a good battle for Earthquake. The only problem is because we have Choice Band, we're going to be stuck doing Earthquake or swapping here. So down goes Beldum. Three more Pokemon to go. Just don't have a crazy team, dude. Give me, just give me some slack. We've had some crazy battles here already. Okay, 43. Feels good. Zangoose. Hmm, I think Zangoose we're going to want to go... Wait. What type is Zangoose? Zangoose is just normal type, right? I think we're just going to want to go use Cross Chop. Only problem is we're not full HP here. Here we go. 
Isn't Zangus meant to be like the counterpart to Civ Viper for some reason? There we go. Down goes Zangus. Next up, Slowpoke. All right, Slowpoke should be no problem. I'll just go. You know what? No, let's have uh, Soggy Toast deal, deal with this one. Just hit him with the strong physical attack. <laughs> Blame the anime. Let's go drill pack here. Dude, Slowpoke looks really red in this game. I thought there was supposed to be more pink. I mean, that's kind of a pink, but that's more like a salmon pink or something like that. I don't know. Next up is Hound Hour. That's fine. Okay, so we actually got a pretty easy battle here. Feels good. After, after what we just dealt with in that double battle, having a little bit of a freebie here feels good. Would you ever use a Zangoose? I don't know, man. I feel like if you wanted a kind of a quick, decent, normal attacker... Speaking of quick, we got a gosh dang quick claw! That might be really good. Um, but wouldn't you just want to use, like, Vigoroth instead of Zangoose? I don't know, man. No way! It's Hotails! Well, I thought being level 43 would mean no more encounters, but Hotails, level 44 up in here. Gosh dang. Can't escape! Okay. Apparently, Volbeat is just too fast. So, can we surf down this waterfall, or do we want to go across? Looks like we want to go down. I just hope I'm not going the totally wrong way. Where is the exit? I feel like I've just gone in a circle, but who knows. Let's go up here. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Great. Just went in a total circle. Kind of like, like I was saying, I kind of wish we could actually see a little bit better. Darn it, game. Yeah, in this game, when you run out of repel, you have to go back into your bag to use another one. No, Froggy's in the PC. The only death we've had today is uh, Mini Noodle. Which is really hard to say for some reason. Oh, did we go down on this side? Is that the trick? Aha! There we go, guys. Xbox has an item, really? They do have an item. Let's check out what it is. Full heal. Nice. Oh, no. We've got another double battle. Well, let's get to it, guys. I thought you hated repels. T today's the exception. Just today. We're on the last floor. Oh, crud. All right. Here we've got ourselves. Weightlifter Christine and Weightlifter P. Knit Arena. Oh, so much easier than last time. Thank goodness, dude. Out goes Soggy Toast to out goes Pico. Actually, a pretty good setup for this because we could just go for Earthquake. Or we could go for Drill Peck on Staryu and then go for Extra Sensory on Knit Arena if that works as well. So, we'll do that. Down goes Nidorina. Hopefully Staryu does not survive this one either. Oh yeah, that was Venus Toys, you're right. Deoxys! Hello, dude! I think we can deal with Deoxys. He is level 43. If he has an electric attack on Soggy Toast, we're probably dead. I don't think he can one-shot Pico, though. And Ponyta. Ponyta, no problem. Ponyta, definitely no problem here. Do we even have a water attack? No, but we can just go... Oh, we do have Surf. We're gonna, we're gonna go for Earthquake anyways here. Wait, I can't. I have to use Drill Peck. I forgot. So let's take down Ponyta first, and we'll go from there. He's gonna go for Bulk Up. That's not that scary. Okay. Why is Lugia black? I have no idea. I thought they were blue, but apparently they're black in this game. Is that gonna be enough? No, it's not enough. Oh, it changed to a psychic type. That's okay. Drill Peck, we'll finish him off here. So, we just have Deoxys. Just Deoxys left. Ooh, 41 on Pico. Oh my gosh, he's got speed boost. He's got bulk up. But we also have speed boost, so we're fine. So, we're stuck doing Drill Peck. We gotta keep doing that. We're gonna go for Extra Sensory again here. Now, Extra Sensory, probably not the best against a Deoxys. Uh, Deoxys. Cosmic Power going in. Defense rising. He's just boosting all of his stats forever. As long as he doesn't have a way to heal, we'll be fine. I don't know why I did extra sensory on that crud. Drill peck. Drill peck. Humongous damage, dude. Who even cares? We can just do extra sensory like it's nothing. Oh, he goes for thrash now, but dude, dude, it's just not going to be enough on Pico. Sorry, Deoxys, but your boosting tactics, not going to work here. All right, we got him. You know, I kind of wonder if the off-colors are based on the emulation. 
I wonder if there's like some weird color setting in the emulator settings that make it slightly off. Or maybe that's just how Pokemon Emerald actually looks. I don't know, man. Okay, let's go on down. Let's fight this person as well. So apparently this is the final floor. So probably just a couple more trainer battles to go. Tangela, we can deal with that. The only problem is that Drill Pack is kind of getting low on PP already, down to nine. So I'm gonna go use Fly this time. It's almost as strong. It does have a chance to miss, which is gonna be made even stronger by the fact that he used Double Team there. So hopefully we do not miss. Okay, we don't. That should be enough to one shot. It is good. So down goes Tangela. <laughs> Mini Noodle evolved into a corpse. There you go. Almost 44 on this guy. Exeggutor coming out. It looks like a great battle for Fly. Now, don't worry, guys. I know that we're kind of focusing on Sagitos a little bit here. We're getting him more levels than the rest of the team. But once we finish Victory Road, we're going to get everyone up to 50 anyways. So it, it won't matter in the end. And down goes Exeggutor. Yes, good. That will be 44 on Soggy Toast. Okay, final Pokemon. Cubone. Okay, we'll swap for that. Why not? We'll go to Vegeta. Use some water attacks here. Yeah, we leveled up Mini Noodle, got them to evolve into an Iggly buff, and then we released them. Cubone is out. Let's go for Surf. Should be no problem here. And we got him. Okay, so that trainer was not too bad. Let's go get to the next one. I'm sure we're going to have a couple more here. That's the way. All right, so we know we're going the right way then. Down the stairs. Or the ladder, whatever. Wait, I thought that was the final floor. Did I go the wrong way again? Oh, please tell me I did not just go the wrong way. Darn it, Armaldo. Get out of my life. So he's level 44. So even though we're 44... And uh, we, we can avoid most stuff in here. We still have some random encounters. That's the Wahe. Oh, I hope it is. I did go the wrong way? You're right, what the crud. So we're back here again. I'm so glad I decided to use Flash. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna break this one, push this rock on the left down, break the other rock, and then move on. we go. Alright, can we finally get out of Victory Road? Please, game. We're not gonna have to battle Wally again, are we? Wait, 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 wait. Guys, is there gonna be a rival battle? I need to know. Because I need to heal up if there's going to be one, but I don't want to heal up if we're just gonna go right to a Pokemon Center. No, no rival battle? Oh, uh, well, thank you so much for subscribing, dude. Okay, no battle, no battle. We should be good then. We do still have this guy, so we'll go beat him up at least. Yeah, we already battled Wally. I just don't know if we have to also battle Brandon. Or Brendan, I forget his name. Hitmonchan coming in, no problem with that guy. Okay, let's just go for Drill Peck. I know I was trying to preserve the PP, but if we're almost out of here, we might as well just use it. Oh, you think this is the final trainer? Hopefully this is the final trainer. Quillfish, P. Shua. All these weightlifters. Is Victory Road a gym? It might be. What are these guys supposed to be like? Cool trainer? Got him, dude. Down goes weightlifter Mark. My dream ends here. Alright. Oh, there's one more battle, but we can skip it. We can just skip it. Is that the exit? Guys, the exit is right there, but would it be lame if I don't battle these guys? Should I go? Should I do this one final battle for Victory Road? I mean, we could die, just lose the run right here. Or we could have a really cool battle. I'm seeing some yeses. Heal first, then battle. We're just gonna... We're just gonna battle them, guys. Let's just do it. We've got Gyarados. We've got Vegeta. Or we got Soggy Toast and Vegeta. There's no way we can lose. Alright, Weightlifter Cristiano and Veronica. Cloyster and Mawile. So Cloyster, I think we can go for Eruption. I think that'll be neutral. Or we can just go for a Flying Attack. I think that's also neutral. Uh, let's go fight. Oh, dude, we can just do Earthquake, but then Vegeta's gonna get hit. We can do Earthquake and swap to uh, Pico, but Pico's damaged. You know what? We're just gonna do Drill Peck, and we'll also do... 
I guess we'll just do Surf. Hopefully that'll do some good damage on Mawile. I know it's not going to do that much to Cloyster. That actually did more than I was expecting on Cloyster. Oh, it didn't one-shot Mawile, though. So hopefully this kills Cloyster. No, Cloyster has a great physical defense, so I guess that's not that surprising. Uh, Alright, Sludge Bomb coming in. I don't think Mawile is actually that good in this game. I think Mawile got a lot better in Gen 6, but in Gen 3, Mawile was pretty weak. So the poison does hurt, but we have leftovers, which will kind of counteract that a little bit. Uh, I think we're just going to go for Surf again. I think that'll kill both of them. Oh, not on you. We'll do Drill Peck here. We'll do Surf. Or they'll have full Restore. was not expecting that for some reason. But we are stuck doing Drill Peck because we have the Choice Band. Yo, guys, if you Choice Band... Oh, Critical Hit saves the day. Very nice. But guys, if you Choice Band and you run out of PP, can you just not attack anymore? Alright, next up is going to be a Shift Tree. We can deal with that no problem with Drill Peck. Although right now, Drill Peck is going to defeat Cloyster. Oh, you just used Struggle. Holy crud, okay. And the final Pokemon is going to be a Coughing. Again, I could do Earthquake. That would be pretty good here. But I just don't think that's going to be that smart. I think instead of what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to Drill Peck on Coughing. And we're going to use Eruption. Oh, crud! Does that hit everyone? Please do not tell me that's going to kill Sagitos. It, it would not do much to Sagitos, right? Uh, just, uh, just don't hit my guy. We'll be fine. Okay, at least Shiftry's dead. Why would it kill Sagi? No, it wouldn't. Even if it hit him, there's no way he would die to it. So we're fine. And Drill Pet going out. Down goes Coughing. There you go, guys. The final double battle. No problem. We are poisoned, so I need to go heal. I don't think we're going to have any chance of dying before we get there. So with that battle done, we are officially done with Victory Road. We're going to make our way to the Elite Four, but I don't know, guys. Oh, Repel's Effect wore off. That's actually perfectly fine. I don't think we're going to do this without grinding, though, guys. The final battle here is going to have a level 55, three level 56s, a 57, and a 58. If even one of those Pokemon is even remotely challenging, the run is just instantly dead. Well, we do have these two guys blocking us off, so maybe we can't go to the Elite Four. Who knows? I'm going to go buy full restores. Guys, I'm going to buy 50 full restores. There we go, dude. Yeah, we're going to grind, guys. I think at minimum, I think we should grind our team to level 50. Now, the first couple battles in the Elite Four do have just like mid to high 40s. But once we get to battle 3, it's 50 plus, and again, once we get to that last battle, it's 55 plus. I think level 50 is the minimum. Maybe we should go 52, but I think 50 is fine. So alright guys, if you're watching the full video version, definitely leave a timestamp below. We're going to grind for quite a while here. But uh, Let's get to grinding, let's get everyone up to 50. I know a lot of people will think grinding is anti-hype, but it's just suicide, man. Going into a Elite Four with our highest being 44 is just... We, there's just no way. I think we're going to go to... Uh, let's try Lily Cove. Oh, get Froggy. You're right. So, guys, we actually are going to add Froggy to the team in place of Xbox. So, as much as I've loved Xbox, it is time to say goodbye. We're not going to release them. But we are going to deposit them, and we're going to get Scizor instead. So, goodbye, Xbox. Honestly, Xbox getting rare candies might have been useful, but it's fine. So one thing I do want to do is get the experience share off of that dust ox because I want to split my experience up quite a bit. Let's go to move items. And let's go get the... Uh, uh, we don't need the mystic water. Let's go ahead and take that experience share. How do I go to my party? Oh, that is party. Okay, we'll give that to uh, Shuckle, I guess. No, we'll give it to Scizor. There we go. All right, let's go get to grinding, guys. We're going to try outside Lily Cove, see how that goes. We might need to go somewhere a little bit safer. Uh, we're going to have leftovers on Soggy Toast, experience share on him. Let's see. I'm just going to do all three experience shares here. Scope lens can come off. I'm, I'm going to take off all the items for now. Okay, so we'll do experience share on Froggy, Old Mold, and Pico for now. Uh, where are they? Experience share. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm blind! 
Okay, we got that, Crud. We'll give one to Old Mold. Actually, we'll, we'll give one to Sir Pickle. I think the legendaries are going to be the easiest to level. So we'll give them... Or they're not going to be the easiest to level in terms of experience points, but in terms of uh, actually killing stuff, they're going to be the easiest. So we'll do it like that. Delete Flash. Um, that's a good idea. We'll do that. Three experience shares is pretty funny. It's kind of, it is kind of silly that it feels so cool to have three, even though in like Gen 6 and stuff, you just have experience all on everyone all the time, pretty much. Okay, so let's go get rid of Flash here. So that way, if we get a cool move on Lugia, we could get that in place of Flash. Take Choice Band off for grinding. That is a good idea. We'll do Leftovers instead. Now, we might have to go somewhere more safe. I'm going to try these higher level areas for now. But if it feels even a little bit risky, we'll move on and uh, grind somewhere else. You guys know me. I would rather play safe than uh, risk dying. You got more time than lives. So let's see how this goes here. Initiate turbo grind. Okay. Golem's pretty good. Froggy 37 already. Already our first level. So far, this is looking pretty good, actually. Oh, Meganium's going to be great experience and super easy. 45. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it said he was trying to learn Mewtwo. I'm like, what the crud? Memento. What is that? The user faints and lowers the foe's ability. Yeah, no thanks, game. I don't exactly want Memento in my Nuzlocke. Get him out of here, dude. Turn off battle scenes. Good plan. Guys, I need, you, I need you to do me a favor. Remind me to turn battle scenes back on after we uh, are done grinding here. I'm going to go up here, actually. Horsey. Hmm. That's fine. Should we do grinding music, guys? I just don't know what... Uh, I don't know what soundtrack we should do. Some of the Pokemon around here are not worth the most experience. Hopefully we'll find more Meganiums than anything else. Oh, Chansey! Now that's going to be good experience. Lots of Chansey, please. Let's get, like, all the Chanseys ever. This is going to take a while. It will, but it won't take... It'll probably take, like, an hour, maybe. Since we're in such a high level area, it shouldn't be too bad. Do you guys think we should do Celeste music? Okay, okay, let's do it this way. Do you guys think we should do Pokemon music or non-Pokemon music? Sonic Adventure 2 music, oh jeez. Use the Pong soundtrack? I'm seeing kind of a pretty good mix of Pokemon and non-Pokemon. Let's start off by doing Pokemon music. Let's do... You know what, guys? A Pokemon soundtrack that doesn't get enough love. We're going to go listen to that soundtrack. Pokemon Gen 6, dude. I love Gen 6. I know a lot of people don't like Gen 6 that much, but... Uh, I need to actually mute my game. Hold on. Because it's going to sound real weird if I don't mute it. All right, guys, let's get to grinding for real here. I'm going to go as fast as I possibly can. It seems pretty safe here, at least with uh, Soggy Toast. Once Soggy Toast actually gets to proper level, I don't know what the code we're going to do, but we'll, we'll just figure it out once we get there. Sir Pickle wants to learn Signal Beam? Yes, Sir Pickle, hello! That is so good. We'll get that in place of Sludge, yeah. Finally, a decent bug attack on Sir Pickle. Alright, let's get back to this here. Yeah, I mean, Nidorina, or Nidoran, uh, Nidoran Male, not worth that much. Um, there's a few Pokemon not worth that much, but Golem's worth a decent amount. Meganium, definitely worth a decent amount. Chansey, worth a ton. So there's a lot of good stuff here. Dude, I love this song from Gen 6, because you legit hear it for like three seconds when you actually play the game. It's like the shortest route in all of Pokemon. It's like, why does that route even exist? Yeah, Sir Pickle is going to have same type attack bonus now. So not only is it 10 power more than uh, than Sludge was, but also that same type attack bonus, which gives it another like 30 or whatever. Almost 46 already on Soggy Toast, so that's not bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we go, 46. And guys, keep in mind, we have experience share on three Pokemon. So we're leveling up four Pokemon at the same time right now. 
So just pretend that every time you see the experience bar move for Soggy Toast here, just pretend you're seeing six, no, four, pretend you're seeing four experience bars go up. So it's actually not that slow. We have to be careful not to uh, get destroyed by something. Oh, Harry Mama's going to be a pretty decent experience as well. This is a great grinding spot, for real. Wait, when did I get Lemonade? How the crud did I just get Lemonade? Why did I use Surf there? Oh, gosh dang it, I'm asleep. I'm asleep. There we go. Ah, oh, we got poisoned. Okay, we're going to go back then. Ah, oh, jeez. We're going to go back all the way over here. Man, I love Gen 6 so much. I think it's my favorite gen, aside from 3 and 1. I think it's my third favorite gen. I really, really like Gen 6 a lot. Hit him item on the beach in the rocks. That's pretty nifty. I'm probably not going to bother, but... Because I'm, I'm kind of lazy. I just want to focus on this grinding, guys. Get it over as quickly as we possibly can. Yeah, Horsey's not worth that much, and Horsey has Protect, but even Horsey's not as bad as uh, Nidoran Male. I think Nidoran Male's the worst. Froggy up to 38 right there. Froggy probably won't ever actually battle themselves. They're probably just going to get lots of experience share from different Pokemon, but that's okay. Well, they'll battle once we get to the Elite Four, but I just mean for grinding, they probably won't actually get to battle. Yeah, I'd say probably 75% of the battles we fight here, pretty good experience. Definitely better than grinding spots we've used in the past where I fought like level fives all day. Not to mention, Sagitos just has really good attacks for this area, plus he just has four different moves that are all attack moves, so he doesn't run out of PP too fast either. So, not bad. Swablu, Horsey, and Nidoran Male, all pretty bad though. Shine Echo, I don't think is too bad. Eh, yeah, they're kind of in the middle. I think Knockdown's in the middle as well. We're mostly just hoping we get lots and lots of Chansey. If we just get a bajillion Chansey, that'd be the best possible. When you guys hear this song, how would you describe the emotion? Does it does it feel sad? Does it feel relaxing? Does it feel nostalgic? We already got 47 on Saki Toast. Three more to go. Obviously, he's going to be the first one to actually get to uh, level 50 because he's leading. So he gets half the experience, and then the other half gets split three ways. So when I said we're leveling four Pokemon, and I said uh, the experience bar is like four going up at once, a little bit misleading because Saki Toast's experience bar is going up significantly faster than the other ones. But, you know, eh, whatever. It is still the situation that once we have three Pokemon at max level, the last three are going to be faster because as we get to take experience shares off, it'll uh, go faster and faster, and then the final Pokemon will be real quick. Oh, we're already out of Earthquakes. Okay, we'll start doing Fly, I guess. The problem with Fly is just that it takes two turns, so they might have a chance to, to do something. Although, we're probably going to be faster than like, everything out here, so maybe they won't actually get to do anything. Oh my gosh, Noctowl used Explosion right there. So, uh, kind of good thing I used Fly. Gotta be careful of that, dude. Noctowl has Explosion. Do you have some PP ups? I probably do. I don't even know what I would use them on, though. I mean, Drill Pack is not a bad PP up target, but are we ever going to be in a situation where we need to use 20 Drill Packs without being able to heal? I mean, maybe that'll happen in the Elite Four, but we do also have Elixirs, we have Ethers, So there's other stuff we could do to restore that, rather than just PP-Ups. I wish Game Freak would just incorporate Turbo. I mean, they kinda did, right? If you have Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium 2, and you play Gen 1 or Gen 2 games on those, you actually can Turbo. Like, if you... you have to unlock it, but once you unlock it, you get the Dodrio Game Boy, and you can do three times Turbo Speed on uh, Gen 1 games. Well, what all have I missed so far? So we caught a Lugia. We had our level 70 Pokemon die. Explosion actually hit me there. Gosh dang, that hurt. Um, so that's kind of like the big highlights of that. We had a couple of really intense battles. We went through Victory Road. So Victory Road is done. 
now we're grinding up for the Elite Four. The Elite Four is going to start pretty reasonable. Like, if we went to the Elite Four now, guys, I think we have a pretty good chance of defeating the first trainer. Probably even the first two, maybe even three. But once we get to that champion, guys, the champion is going to have six poke or I think he has six Pokemon. I think the champion has six Pokemon. His lowest level is 55. His highest is 58. What song is this? I think this is like the rival appears. I'm not sure. Kind of had a bad streak there. I got a lot of Horsey, a lot of Nidoran. I see more Chansey. No, not Nidoran. Honestly, anything but Nidoran. Nidoran is, I think, the worst here. Sir Pickle 44, Froggy 39. I really hope this does not turn out to be our longest grind session yet. It might. Because we are going for the highest levels yet, but we're also doing it in a much, a much better area, so who knows. Yeah, I agree. I, I know a lot of people don't like to see grinding, but I do think that if we go in any lower than 50, we're just asking to lose the, the run, basically. Even 50 is pretty underleveled, guys. I mean, if we go in level 50, maybe we'll gain like one or two levels during the other four battles, but... I mean, we're still going to have upwards of eight levels of disadvantage from that final battle. Is this the finale even with the grind? Oh yeah, dude. No matter how long today takes, today is the finale. Even if it took me 10 hours, still the finale. I'm kind of debating raising the stakes and having it so if this team dies, the run is over. No retries, no, no team three. I feel like that would make it a little bit more intense, but also that's kind of just asking to get defeated. Grind to Victory Road. Victory Road has Lugia's, and Lugia's scary. I, I, he would give a lot of experience, but he could kill me. Retries until all Pokemon die. The only problem with that is that each retry, because I'm gonna have to level up a bunch of level 20s and stuff, each retry is gonna have to have like three hours of grinding. Come on, no more Nidorans. Thank you, dude. No more Nidorans. Should probably start using some Fly here, but not against Golem. Honestly, not that far away from level 50 on Sagitos. We're almost 49. That last level is probably going to go by pretty quick here. How do I keep missing? Gosh dang, I missed like three times in that battle. Use a 16 times experience. Nah, dude. I think using Turbo is cheating enough. I, I don't want to use any ch actual cheat codes. Is there a shiny claws? Um, I'd say yeah. If we find a shiny, we can catch it. The only problem is I'm gonna be turboing, so I probably won't even notice we found a shiny before it's already dead. So guys, if you uh, see me kill a shiny, definitely uh, definitely clip that crud, because that'll be devastating. Yeah, we got the Lugia. Unfortunately, our level 70 Shuppet died during the battle, but um, I think it was worth it. We got Lugia. Actually. They didn't die during that battle, they died during a different Lugia battle, but yeah, Lugia killed uh, Shuppet. It's the same result, but faster? I mean, sure, but... Um, I don't know, it just, it just feels wrong. I mean, Turbo Wing almost feels wrong, but cheat codes definitely feel wrong. Almost out of Fly PP. I guess I still have quite a few surfs, so let's use all that. I'm going to use all my PP here. I just got to be careful not to start struggling without realizing. I think we'll do fly on this next guy. Never mind, it's a gosh dang golem. Here we go, we'll do fly on Chansey. That's a good one. Uh, fly again. Got him. And now I think we just have like one or two surf PP. Yeah, we have two surf PP, so one more battle, and then we'll go back and heal. Get those PPs back. Oh, it's Chansey. Will they still die? No, they won't. I guess we're gonna have to struggle this guy. There we go. Jeez, struggling is scary, but we got him. So with all of our PP down, we're gonna go back, heal up, come back for another round. I think this next round will be enough to get Soggy Toast up to 50, and we can start working on some other Pokemon here. I don't think anyone is gonna be as fast to level cap as Soggy Toast was. Not only because Soggy Toast was just the closest already, but also because Soggy Toast just has lots of good attacks in this area, where... Other Pokemon might not. Dude, Lumios. It was so weird going to uh, 
the big city and having to walk around in 3D for the first time. I mean, I guess other parts of the game were kind of 3D as well. I'm going to go back and get this poison off. Like, the Gen 3 introduced 8-directional movement. Not quite the same as true 3D like uh, Let's Go has, for example, but it was definitely closer. And when you had the roller skates, I think it was true 3D. The city's too much of a maze. Yeah, I think I agree. I've never been a big fan of giant cities in games because they're always kind of hard to navigate. Old Mold 44, not bad. Hopefully Old Mold will get 50 without ever having to battle themselves because they're going to be real slow. So I'm hoping we can just have them with the experience share the whole time. And we'll do Drill Peck here. Not until we use Earthquake, just mixing it up. Just about 50, guys. Do you think 50 is enough, or should we go for, like, 52? I think 50... 50 is high enough that we could win. Keep in mind, guys, I got, like, 50 full restores, and I will abuse the crud out of them. So even if we have the level disadvantage, we still have the item advantage for sure. So I think just 50 is probably plenty. Wait, Psychic? Um... Do I want to get Psychic? Probably no. Because why would I ever use Psychic over Surf? So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna not learn that. Kind of feels weird to not get Psychic of all things, but I mean it's just not that good for Psychic Toast. Fifty-two on at least one Pokemon. We probably will gain one or two levels during the actual Elite Four before we get to the champion, so we do have that on our side. Oh, we are level fifty. Okay, so let's uh stop training Psychic Toast. Go back to Pokemon. Let's go item and take. Take the level leftovers off of them. And let's go train up Vegeta next. We'll switch him over. Alright guys, one down, five to go. We do have Slash on this guy. So that's pretty good. Honestly, if we could actually one-shot stuff with Icy Wind, then Kyogre has four good attacks as well. I don't think any of these I don't think any of these uh, attacks that I have hurt myself. Fortunately, Icy Wind, even though it's super effective, was not able to one-shot Knockdown, but it does take down Swellow. I think we might have trouble with Chansey. No, Slash is good enough. Okay. Icy Wind on Swablu. What music is this? I think this is just like a route music, right? Uh, 1 HP on Noctowl. I think once we get level 44, we could probably one-shot Noctowl with uh, the ice there. Against this guy, probably Slash. Oh, he puts me to sleep, though. Goes for Thunder. So this guy does have Thunder, but it's just not enough to take down Vegeta at this point. We have too much level advantage. Okay, we one-shot him that time. Harry Mama will go for Surf. I think when in doubt, go for Surf against these guys. But Tentacool is kind of a problem for Vegeta. We have to go for Slash, so we might end up getting poisoned because of that. I guess Slash has a lot less PP than I thought it did. It only has 20. I thought I had like 35 for some reason. I might be thinking of just Scratch. Thankfully, Slash does have a high crit chance, which means, uh, well, on those Pokemon that we can't normally one-shot, like Tentacruel, we do have a chance to one-shot with a critical. Ah, uh, we did get hit by Poison Point, so we'll go back and heal that up. Because we're one-shotting a lot of stuff, we won't actually take that much Poison Battle in damage, but as we Turbo walk back and forth, I just don't want to risk uh, going a little bit too far and dying. Oh gosh, he paralyzed me. Yeah, Tentacruel's going to be a little bit of a pain. I think it's still worth fighting him because we do have that chance to one-shot with the critical, but... Yeah, if he actually hits me with Thunder and paralyzes, that's annoying. If he poisons, that's annoying as well. It is tempting. I will admit, it is pretty tempting. Yeah, another tentacle battle, another poison. So maybe I'll run away from Tentacruel for a little while. Now, if we had Pico up front, Lugia, we could just use extra sensory and destroy them no problem. But with this guy... Oh my gosh, Horsey also has poison crud? Gosh dang it, game. Gotta go back and heal up this poison again. Apparently, Vegeta is extremely good at getting poisoned. It's okay. You got this crud, Vegeta. Just keep working at it. No poison. No poison. Yes! We made it through a single battle without getting poisoned, guys. We did it. About to get 44 here. 
Surf would probably still kill Horsey. You're probably right. Yeah, Icy Wind almost killed Horsey. Yeah, we'll do Surf on Horsey. Golem coming in. There it is, 44. I think Old Mold is 44 as well, so we've caught up to them. Gosh dang it, go away, Nidoran. Is this like the... Is this Shauna's theme? I feel like this plays when your friends show up in Gen 6. I can't remember. This might be Shauna. Horsey is like the Rattata of the sea. That's a that's a pretty good analogy. This is the friend theme? Okay. Uh, what emulators do you use? For Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, all those, I use Visual Boy Advance. For DS, I use Desmume. I think some people use a, a thing called No... No dollar sign GBA, aka no cash GBA. And I think that could do both Game Boy and DS, so that might be a better choice if you just want to have one do everything. If you found a shiny, can you catch it and use it? Yes, yes. Okay, we got Weather Ball. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, Disc Mume and Visual Boy Advance are both pretty good. I don't know why I keep using Icy Wind on Meganium. I mean, I guess it's probably my best choice. No, I could use Eruption, duh. Yeah, Surf definitely kills Horsey. I don't think Eruption has a lot of PPs, but I could still definitely use it on uh, those Meganiums. Because Meganium is pretty rare. So honestly, Vegeta, not too bad for this area. A little bit of a problem with that gosh dang poison, because we have to kill stuff with Slash. Actually, yeah, Horsey will definitely use Surf, because we know it one-shots, and it avoids the poison. Tentacruel will probably still have to risk it, but oh well. Will you ever do Gen 6? It is one of my favorite games, so probably. I just don't know when. But uh, just a heads up, guys. After I finish the Nuzlocke, and after I finish Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which I'm going to do right after the Nuzlocke, there will be no more uh, Pokemon on Psycho Plays until next year's Nuzlocke. I'm going to take an entire year off of Pokemon. Because between Pokemon Crystal, Stadium, Let's Go, uh, Poke Park, and, and this, it's been just kind of like back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Pokemon for like the past year. So I think it's time to take a little bit of a break for the channel from Pokemon. Uh, Sword and Shield, I do plan to do on Twitch, so I will still stream that, but I don't plan to do any videos of it. We're asleep! But, I, I know for people that are huge fans of Pokemon, that is a bummer, but it, it does leave more room open for me to do more Mario, more uh, Zelda. I even kind of want to delve into other Nintendo series, like I want to do Metroid. Uh, I would love to do like Star Fox and Crud, so other, other Nintendo stuff as well. Because I'm Giga Drain, no thanks! Oh man, I do want to do more Mega Man. I've already done Mega Man 1 and 2, but I would love to do more of those. Fire Emblem. You know what I want so badly to do, but I don't know how people would react? I want to do the very, very first Fire Emblem, the old NES game. I think it was only ever released in Japan, but there is a, a fan translation. I would love to play that original Fire Emblem. The only thing is it's very different from uh, modern Fire Emblem, like the... Uh, the Weapon Triangle, for example, doesn't exist back then. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's different, but I, I just love... I love old games. I think they're very... I, I love the charm of old NES games. The original did get a remake, but I just... I like the original more. I, I just love old old games. It's kind of why I've done a Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow, but I haven't done a Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Although I did, I have done challenge runs of Fire Red and Leaf Green. I did the, uh, of course the original Fire Red Nuzlocke, and I was actually, the Fire Red Nuzlocke was not the first randomizer, actually, I think it was the first randomizer Nuzlocke I've done, but I did another Nuzlocke before I started doing, um, the videos you guys would know me for, I did have a Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke that I did on stream, and when Pokemon that I really liked died in that, I actually like made videos and uploaded the videos onto my main Psycho channel, but um, I don't think those videos exist anymore. So 
We're already almost 46 on Vegeta. Getting there pretty quick here. It's kind of weird. For some reason, Vegeta feels like they're leveling quicker than Gyarados was, which doesn't make any sense. Because Vegeta's a gosh dang legendary, but who knows, man. To go back and get the stink and paralyze off. I will say it is slower because we have to go back to the Pokemon Center a lot more. <laughs> if you beat the champion, play the banjo. No, thank you, dude. I gotta say, guys, people were extremely nice to me in the comments about the banjo. I was like, holy crud, really? I don't know why people were so nice to me about that. But yeah, I, I said I would add the clip into the highlights because I, I didn't add the banjo clip into the part 10 highlights because I just thought it was kind of awful. Uh, but people called me out on it, so I added it to part 11, and everyone was really nice about it, so thank you guys. Gonna defeat this Noctowl. I kind of wasted Surf right there. Noctowl, I should probably just use Icy Wind at this point. But honestly, I mostly am going back to the Pokemon Center to heal status effects. Not so much because I ran out of PP on this guy. Come on, 46. There's that 46. Four levels to go. Because you weren't bad at playing it. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things where... If you know what the song is supposed to sound like, it sounds really bad. Because it's supposed to be like... I probably played it at like 30 BPM or something like that, really slow. It's supposed to be a pretty fast song. 886 people have joined the Discord server since the start of the Nuzlocke. Holy crud, guys. Yeah, like straight up, guys. This month, because I've been doing the Nuzlocke all across one month instead of across four months... This month on YouTube has been straight up the most successful month I've ever had on YouTube, ever. It's been crazy. I mean, think about it this way. The last Nuzlocke I- not Nuzlocke, the last Glitchfest I put out, I put out like over a year ago now, and... Gosh dang, there are parts of the Nuzlocke that I just put up a month ago that have more views than that crud. That is how successful this Nuzlocke has been. It's been so crazy to me. Next Nuzlocke, you may well have a 1k viewer stream. We definitely, on day one, we had like 2,000 people here, I think, because uh, day one I actually uploaded on YouTube and said, Hey guys, I'm live, and all that crud. So, I, I stopped doing that. I just felt like I was spamming. I don't want to spam inboxes, so I just did it for the first time, but... Yeah, normally the Nuzlocke starts at about 1,500, and then over the course of the series goes down to more like 400. I don't know how many people are here right now. I'm guessing it's not that many because I'm grinding. Why not stream YouTube at the same time? It's just it's too many chats to keep up with, and I've I've always streamed on Twitch. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2009, so it's just it's just it's just my stream platform of choice. I think this I think this is going to be the longest grind we've done, guys. I mean, I haven't been sitting here timing it, but we're already one and a half hours into the recording. But don't worry, guys. I promised, and I plan to keep that promise. No matter how long today takes. Today will be the finale. We will grind. We will grind and we will do the Elite Four in the same sitting here. Not going to have a part 11.5. It's not happening. I keep forgetting to surf the horsey there. <laughs> 24 hour stream hype. I think... Ah... Uh... The only thing I might make an exception, I, I did say no matter what, I might go back on that. I might backpedal a little bit and say, if we grind all this crud, we go fight the Elite Four, and we die, and we have to grind up another team, that crud's going to take at least like three hours, so maybe I'll have to think about it. I might still do another team and grind them up and try again, but if that team also dies and we have to grind for another three hours, it, yeah, I don't know, man. We'll see. But at the very least, I will get this team to 50, and I will do the Elite Four today. You should save? I probably should, yeah, just in case my power goes out or something crazy. Can you imagine how tragic it would be if we lost to all of this progress?
Yeah, that's what I would probably do. If um, if this team dies, then I'll probably, I'll probably uh, go ahead and just give in, and I'll call this part 11.5 or whatever, and then we'll have um, I'll grind off stream and then come back and we'll just do the Elite Four next time. Okay, guys, once we get level 48 on Vegeta, I'll save. So as long as my power does not go out, my computer does not crash, before we get 48, we'll be good to go. So, fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> Finale point five. Well, this will be the last part regardless of the highlights. Like, no matter how long it takes, no matter how much grinding we do, how many attempts, even if we have, like, ten teams go up against the Elite Four somehow, uh, I will condense it down to the finale for the highlights. For full videos, I'm not sure. Part 12 will be the finale, but I just don't know if we're going to have a part 11.5, 11.6, whatever. I'm going to say hopefully no. I'm feeling pretty good, guys. We have two legendaries. We have Gyarados, who's very strong. We have, um, gosh dang, Old Mold. I think there's a very good chance we could just beat the game. Even though we're going to have a pretty severe level disadvantage. The only thing is my, my team does not have very good type variants. So if we run against rock types or electric or whatever the crud flying, it's kind of bad. 11.3 because we're Wahe 3. Gotta go to work now. Good luck. Oh, thank you, dude. Uh, hopefully work is not too terrible. Up we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just always going to heal. Whenever we get those poisons on us, we're just going to go back and heal. Although we're getting kind of close. We're inching towards Vegeta being done. Once they're done, we'll go over to Lugia. And uh, once we're on Lugia, it's going to be something a little bit different. Well, no, not quite. So once we get to Lugia, we are officially leveling up all four Pokemon that remain at the same time. Because we'll have the main guy we're leveling, Lugia, plus the three experience shares on the others. But once we get Lugia to 50, then we'll officially be leveling just three at a time, and then two at a time, and then one at a time. So... Once we get past that, it'll be faster and faster. Unless Old Mold has to actually fight stuff, and then it'll probably be really slow. You had a nice nap, dude. Grinding time, definitely a good time to go take a nap if you need one. I've never really been able to nap. I personally have a lot of problems with sleep. I'm not very good at falling asleep. I've been doing a lot better lately since I've been waking up earlier. Um... I think the biggest key to being able to sleep better is waking up at the same time every day. Like if you, it's not, it's not all about going to bed at the same time every day. It's definitely about waking up at the same time every day. Because if you always wake up at the same time, if you stay up late one night, the next night you're going to be more tired so you'll fall asleep more easily earlier and so on. But if you try to go to bed at the same time and then just sleep to random times, it's miserable. It's hard to force yourself to go to sleep. It's a lot easier to just, like, have an uh, alarm wake you up. Why not grind a victory road? Good question. The answer is basically just that we are at a much higher chance of randomly dying if we go there. Where here we're pretty safe. What is this music? I, I know it's Gen 6 Pokemon still. I just don't know what song it actually is. All right, we're 48, so let's go ahead and save here. I have to be very careful. The load game, the load button is right next to the save button, so I have to be very careful not to hit load. Okay, we saved. Everything's good, guys. My computer can explode, and uh, the save will still be here. Well, okay, maybe not explode, but I can turn off. This sounds like a YouTube channel intro. I feel like the the more YouTube I watch over the years, the more I feel like intros are kind of unnecessary. Like, I want videos to start and just, like, start. Because I feel like the title and the thumbnail are kind of intro enough. So just get to the content, you know? If you gotta have an intro, make it quick. Like, I, I try to make my intro quick. You know, hello and welcome. It's like one second. I feel like you gotta have a quick intro. I feel like if you have, like, a 30 second intro, it's just too much. Why am I healing? I don't think I got poisoned. Did someone faint? Um, yeah, Mini Noodle, our Shuppet. Gosh 
Gosh dang it. Every time I see Tentacruel, I just know. I know there's a chance I'll get poisoned. Also, Froggy of all Pokemon, 43. So Froggy's definitely catching up, guys. And there goes the poison. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, Froggy, I don't even know if they're going to have to end up battling. Because we're going to have Pico be the next battler after this one. And who else do we have to level? We have Sir Pickle. We have Old Mold. Then we have, of course, Froggy. And we have Pico. So Pico's going to be the next battler. After Pico, the next battler after them, probably Sir Pickle. Maybe, maybe we'll go for um, Froggy. But one of those two, for sure. Definitely not Old Mold, because Old Mold is very slow. So we'll let Old Mold level up pretty much completely from experience share. This music is so relaxing. I dig it, man. I just realized I have not seen a Chansey in a long time. Where the credit Chansey go? I mean, I know Chansey's supposed to be like a rare Pokemon, but it's a randomizer. Can't you just be the common one, Chansey? And Chansey died. Oh no. You ever think about that, guys? What if these wild Pokemon are just all the same? What if we're just fighting the same the same Nidoran over and over? Uh, we're going to grind to level 50, because the Elite Four is going to have lots of Pokemon in the mid to high 50s. The highest level in the Elite Four is level 58, so I think we need level 50 as a minimum. Because our team, our highest level is 44. Like, if we go up 44 against a 58... Man, that's just not going to be a good time. Unless we get lucky and it's a bell sprout, but if it's like anything even remotely decent, that would have been the end of the run. It still might be. I mean, 50 versus 58, still not <laughs> good odds. So we do have to get a little bit lucky with what Pokemon the, the enemy randomizes to. And also we have to abuse full restores a lot. I have like 50 full restores. I will be abusing every single one of them if we need it. I don't even care. The Rayquaza is either going to be, Rayqu or the 58 is going to be either Rayquaza or Magby. Yeah, it's either Legendary or a Baby. One level to go on Vegeta. Oh, i got to move around a little bit, dude. My neck is starting to hurt from all this intense grinding. Oh. Getting kind of low on PP. A little bit unusual for Vegeta. Normally we go back because of other reasons, not PP. Oh, I see Wind can't de defeat Shimeko. Come on, man. Sophione, the legendary baby, if only. You know, guys, we've gone this entire game. We have not seen a single Jirachi. What the crud, Jirachi? We've seen Deoxys. We've seen Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon. We've seen way too much Kyogre, to be honest. We've seen Latios, we've seen Latias, we've seen uh, all... We've, we have not seen Registeel, but we've seen Regirock, we've seen Regice. We've seen all of the Gen 1 Legendaries. We've seen all of the Gen 2 Legendaries, except for Celebi. So basically, Celebi and Registeel and Jirachi are probably coming up here pretty soon. We saw, we saw Mew in Petalburg Woods as a random encounter. No, Giga Noodle's not alive. He got hit by... Oh my gosh, dude. Giga Noodle got defeated by a Slack-Off. He got hit by a one-hit KO move. Pretty sure you saw Jirachi? Really? I really don't remember fighting Jirachi at all. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to heal here pretty soon. You know what? We're gonna go do it now. Get that PP restored. I still had some Eruption, I guess, but... I was at a slash, which is probably going to make Tentacruel be a pain in the butt. Play Gen 5 OST? I don't know, man. I'm really enjoying the Gen 6 OST. It's been a long time since I've listened to... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I let go of Turbo for a second. I'm like, why is it going so slow? We're just at that awkward point where Tentacruel is not one-shot by slash. And by the time we actually get high enough to one-shot, we're already level 50. So that's a pain. Get in there. There we go. Now, the thing I'm listening to right now is a playlist of Gen 6, and it's only one and a half hours. If somehow our grinding takes so long that we go through this entire playlist, then I'll uh, do some Gen 5. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to take that long to grind, right, guys? 
That is true, we could go for non-contact moves because the slash taking too long. Can we two-shot with Surf? Actually, we can. I'm guessing Vegeta's just not very good at physical attacks. Almost level 50. Okay, once we get this 50, I guess we're gonna go do Pico, but Old Mold and Sir Pickle are already 47. They're really not that far behind. There we go, guys. Trying to learn Heal Bell. Do I want Heal Bell? No, thank you. I'm gonna abuse those full restores so much that I do not need Heal Bell. All right, so Vegeta is done. Let's go level up Pico next. Pico's the lowest level right now. Oops. There we go. Pokemon number three. We actually only have two moves. Hopefully Lugia learns a move before level 50. Thankfully Extra Sensory has like 30 PP, so we can pretty much just spam that. Is there any way to move Extra Sensory to the same, to the front slot? How do I change their moves around? How do I... Prod. There we go, got it, okay. Apparently it was not selected, it was A. Or maybe it was selected in NA, I don't know, man. I think we still want Rock Throw against Chansey, though. I think everything else, we're just gonna spam Extra Sensory. It's actually pretty convenient that I don't have to menu too much here. I'm just gonna have to spam one thing, mostly. Froggy 44. Unfortunately, we can't one-shot Golem, but I think once we get another level, we will be able to. I think we can sometimes one-shot him, just not every time. Yeah, these battles are going to go by so quick because I get to spam without having to worry about menus. Not even close to one-shotting Knockdowl. Is Lugia not a good attacker? I thought they were. But we're having trouble defeating even relatively weak Pokemon here, level 20s. I mean, by trouble, I mean we're taking more than one hit. Uh, we're planning to grind to level 50. So we got level 50 on Vegeta, which is our, our Kyogre. And we got level 50 on Sagitos, our Gyarados. So gotta get the other four to level 50 as well. I think anything below 50 is just asking to die at the Elite Four. I think even with level 50, still gonna be pretty tough. But maybe doable. If we abuse the items enough, we probably can win. Honestly, it really comes down to how well the randomizer wants to treat me. Yeah, there's level 42. Probably gonna have to go back and heal here pretty soon. Let's go do that now. Is this the uh, music for the snow town? I swear I remember buying an orange hoodie at the snow town and I was so excited about it. No, this is, this sounds more like a route music. Dude, being able to one shot Tentacruel no problem feels good. Oh, Route 15, yeah! The best route! This is not Snowbell City? Oh, gotcha. Does Rock of Throw count as contact? I don't think it does. I mean, you're throwing the rock, right? You're not touching them with it. Well, you're not touching them with your hand or anything. Isn't this the route you ride Ridehorn on? Oh, maybe. Dude, being able to ride Pokemon is really cool. Although, they definitely expanded on ride Pokemon a lot more in uh, Sun and Moon and then again in Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. But I mean, so getting to ride Rhyhorn was cool. Did you get to ride anything else in Gen 6? I can't remember. Even though I have 30 PP on Extra Sensory, it still goes through pretty quickly. Oh, right, you could ride, you could ride, uh, was it just Skiddo or could you ride Go-Goat? Oh, Mamoswine. There's actually a lot of Pokemon here we can't one-shot. Should probably just do Rock Throw on Noctowl. That makes more sense. Probably on Swablu as well. Gosh dang it, Horsey, stop using Protect. Already almost 43 on this guy. I think Pico's going to take the longest to level just because we're starting from such a low level. I think we started at 41 even. 
But there we go, 43. So seven more to go. And I've got a strong feeling that Sir Pickle and uh, Old Moles are either going to get close to 50, or they might actually get it on the way uh, while we're leveling Pico here. I'm going to go ahead and run from this one because we ran out of PP. Let's go up here. Get that health top back up. Huh. For some reason, I don't remember writing all those Pokemon in Gen 6. I really need to play those games again. I haven't played Gen 6 since it came out, really, and it's kind of crazy to think about, guys, but X and Y came out like six years ago now. It's wild, man. Why not Victory Road? Just because Victory Road has scary Pokemon that could... They could kill us, so I, I just don't want to risk it. I'd rather take a little bit longer. And I don't even know if this actually does take longer, considering we can we can go so quick without having to worry about healing as much. And uh, we one-shot stuff more often. And stuff just uh, doesn't take as long to kill. So I even wonder if Victory Road would even be faster. But Victory Road would definitely not be as safe. Okay, level 48 on Old Mold there. My hand is getting annoyed with having to hold down this turbo button. I'm sure there's some way to set up like a toggle for turbo instead of holding it down, but... Well, we've been holding it down for this long, might as well keep holding. Man, I feel like we just hit 43, and we're already almost 44. I don't know if it's because Lugia actually levels faster, if it's faster because we're mashing A really quick, or if it's just because we're a lower level. You know, we're not we're not going from 48 to 49, we're going 43 to 44 right now. So maybe that makes a difference as well. Might be a little bit of everything, who knows. Can I level up before I have to go back and heal? That's the big question. It's like the exact opposite Oh, let's see Rock Throw on the Chansey here. Okay, 44, nice. Uh, I saw something about Confusion. Oh, we just learned Confusion because uh, we had an open move slot, so it didn't even ask, it just gave it to us. Not that good, but I mean, it's something. It's not as good as Extra Sensory, so I don't know why I would ever use it. But yeah, it's kind of the opposite of uh, Vegeta, because with, with Vegeta, I didn't want to find Tentacruel because, well, I'd get poisoned. But now with Pico, because I've got Extra Sensory, it's the exact opposite. I, I love finding Tentacruel. Like, give me Tentacruel all day, please. Can you please train on a better route? This is the best route. Dude, trust me, this route is really good. This is for sure the best route. Because after this point in the game, it's like all water routes. And water routes are terrible because they, they all have very wide level ranges. And then we get to, like, the Elite Four. Um, and Elite Four... Or not the Elite Four, but Victory Road. Victory Road is too high level. It's too scary. So we could die there. Um, and there might be like some random cave somewhere or something we could do, but then we're too far from a Pokemon Center, so every time we have to go back and heal, it's a huge it's a huge travel time. But right here, we've got lots of Pokemon worth lots of experience. They're super easy to take down. We're right next to a Pokemon Center. And it's nice and safe. So this is a really, really good spot. Use the bike. I don't think that would be a good idea. Because the bike has lots of uh, startup time, so it's really fast once you're moving, but I think that just walking back and forth is better when we're in these tight areas here. Besides, I don't, I don't think we're actually having that much trouble finding Pokemon. We're finding encounters extremely quickly. I don't think the, the uh, bike would really speed things up much at all. If I think it might even slow us down. There is the times we have to go back to the Pokemon Center, but the biggest challenge there is just not overshooting it. Okay, almost 45 here. Yeah, Swab Blue, not going to be enough to get 45, but maybe Swallow will be. Here we go. We'll go back and heal again. Here we go. You see, the Turbo on... Game Boy Advance is already so fast. We're going at like 1,000% speed right now. Very different from when I when I play DS games like Soul Silver and Heart Gold and all that. That I or not Heart Gold, but Soul Silver, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black. The past few years have been on the uh, DS, and DS Turbo is like 
barely faster. So grinding was very slow there. Like the grinding that I'm doing now, if I was doing this on DS, would take me like over 10 hours. Also, Elam, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Man, these levels are flying by. Maybe it's just because I've gotten so into the groove of grinding that I'm not, uh, you know, I've just, I've just kind of accepted the process and uh, accepted the speed that it goes. Oh my gosh, just hit the guy. There we go, get him with that rock throw. Um... Why not single experience share instead of multiple? I mean, we could do that, but I don't think there's really that much reason to, because Old Mold's probably going to hit 50 before we get 50 on this guy anyways. And if not, he'll get 50 while we're leveling up, uh, probably Froggy. I don't think we're going to actually have to use either Old Mold or Sir Pickle. I think both of those can get 50 by experience share, no problem. So we're just going to level up Pico, and then we'll level up Froggy, and then we're basically done. And then watch, guys. I'm going to do all this grinding... And we're going to go to the Elite Four, and we're going to die in the first battle. Just watch. Show us your team. We've got Lugia, Gyarados, Pinsir, uh, Kyogre, Shuckle, and Scizor. Honestly, a pretty gosh dang good team. I mean, maybe not the best combination of Pokemon, because they have a lot of the same weaknesses in Crud, but in terms of just, like, raw Pokemon strength, we've got a lot of good Pokemon. Worst Pokemon? Uh, I don't know, man. There's not really any Pokemon that I actually dislike. I've never, I've never been good at answering, you know, who's the worst Pokemon kind of questions, because I don't know, man. Yeah, our team is very tanky. Lugia, Kyogre, and um, Old Mold, obviously, all very tanky. Gyarados, I'm not sure how tanky he is. He's more of a physical attacker. Um, Scizor, I don't even know what his stats are, but just, just by the fact that he's a Steel-type definitely gives him some benefits. Just gotta watch out for fire attacks on him. Altaria is boring. What? I love Altaria. French toast or waffles? Dude, French toast is one of the best breakfast items. I don't know why I don't make it more often, because it's so easy and it's so good. The best tactic, guys... You get French toast. You keep the you keep the mix simple. I know a lot of people put cinnamon and nutmeg and all kinds of crazy crud in their in their mix. I just do just milk and egg. That's it. I do milk and egg. Dip the bread in that crud, then cook it up and I top it with peanut butter, dude. Peanut butter is the way to go for French toast. And syrup, peanut butter and syrup. But I skip the powdered sugar. Forget that crud. But yeah, peanut butter and syrup on French toast is amazing. And apparently a lot of people don't do that, Crud. I, I grew up with that. Like, everyone I, I knew did that, so I, I didn't even realize that was, like, not typical. But turns out not very many people actually put peanut butter on French toast. I thought it was just, like, something everyone did, but I guess not. Now, I'm not going to learn growl. Sorry, Froggy, we're not learning growl. How come peanut butter? I don't know, man. It just tastes really good. It's just a good mix. Wait, are we already 46? Holy crud. I did not even realize we got 46. We're already 46 and a half. Just give me more tentacruels. More chances. Mm, not so much Shime Echoes, please. Shime Echo is not that bad experience, but they are kind of slow to kill. Honestly, Meganium is a little bit slow to kill as well, but they're worth quite a lot, so it's worth it. Harry Mama! Almost 47 already. Guess we'll do a Rock Throw and then we'll do Extra Sensory. Did they just do Dig against a flying Pokemon? What the crud? Dude, I love this song. It's so mysterious. I guess we'll get 47, then we'll go back and heal once again. There it is, man. Go back, get that PP restored. Let's go, Pico! Do you like Vegemite? I've never had Vegemite. Um, I'd like to try it. I don't think I would like it because I heard Vegemite's kind of bitter. I'm not a big fan of bitter tastes. Uh, what's the move Pico learned? They just learned Confusion. Nothing too exciting. 
Oh, it's salty. Hmm. Hot take peanut butter is trash. I mean, everyone has their has their tastes. I don't like peanut butter as much as some people do, but I still think it's pretty good. I'm honestly not that big of a fan of like peanut butter. Or, you know, peanut butter in candy where it's full of just tons of sugar. I'm not that big of a fan. I like I like peanut butter to be more more nutty and less uh, sweet. What theme is this? Dude, I have no idea. Peanut butter is repulsive to me like 90% of the time. Ding! Yeah, I mean, there's there's no food that's universally loved. I always found that weird. I always found it weird how some people could just absolutely love something and others are just, like, repulsed by it. I wonder where that comes from. Body Slam. Honestly, not bad, but I think the stuff he has now is better. Now, Psycho Boost, not that great because, well, he's a gosh dang physical attacker, but it's still good because it's just a good typing. Your opinion on Black Licorice? Um, Black Licorice, I'm not the hugest fan of. They're okay, but Red Vines, dude. Red Vines is the ultimate candy. It is the best candy. I actually went to the movie theater for uh, for Clubby, or with Clubby on her birthday, and they didn't have Red Vines, dude. I've never been to a theater that didn't have Red Vines. I was like, okay, I just got Butterfinger instead. Yeah, we got Pico as our catch for Victory Road. We're honestly not that far away from done with grinding, guys, because once we get Pico done, I mean, Old Mold and Sir Pickle are almost done already. So we pretty much just have to level Froggy up next, and then we're all done here. Harry Mama. I guess we'll kind of stick to the plan. As soon as I hit 48, we'll go back and restore our PP once again. Almost there. Man, maybe it's just me, but I feel like Lugia has been so fast to level up. How do you like your steak? I know a lot of people think this is like a heathen thing to say, but guys, I'm just saying medium well, not medium rare. I didn't level up yet. Let's go here. Not medium rare, dude. Medium well. I don't know, man. I'd like meat to have a little bit more bite to it. I think stuff being super tender is a little bit overrated. I think medium well is the best. Well done as heathen. <laughs> yeah, my friend's mom, she would always like her cards super well done. Like my dad, whenever we would go camping, because we'd go camping with my friend's family, um, and whenever we'd go camping, my dad at some point would probably make steak on the, like, a propane grill or whatever. And, uh, for my friend's mom, he would always just, like, super overcook hers. And no matter how much he overcooked it, she would always bring it back and put it back on the grill after he gave it to her. Like, she just liked that crud basically burnt. Like, she just liked it super well done. I think she liked it to have, like, no juice left. I think she wanted it to be dry. Uh, that's, that's what my guess is. But yeah, I, I like medium well. Honestly, though, that's for, that's for like, steak or whatever. For, like, beef steak. But for chicken, I actually honestly kind of like chicken a little bit well done. I Like, if I have chicken tenders, for example... I don't want my chicken tenders to be juicy. I like my chicken tenders to be gosh dang dry as crud. I like dry chicken tenders. Can't exactly eat chicken rare. I know, but I mean... You, you have to cook it through, but... I don't like juicy chicken that much. I like chicken to be more dry. So I like it to be kind of overcooked, basically. Yeah, I mean, I I tried to eat raw chicken once. It was awful. I mean, I didn't know it was raw until I bit into it. 
And uh, one thing you quickly learn trying to bite into raw chicken is that you kind of can't. It's extremely tough. I didn't know it was raw because it was deep fried. So until I bit into it, I had no idea that it was... I, I didn't make it. Yeah, you probably shouldn't eat raw chicken. I just didn't know it was raw until I bit into it. Yeah, raw meat's kind of weird. Like, even fish. Um, I mean, I, I eat sashimi sometimes, but it's a little uh, hard to get used to. Froggy is 47. Our lowest level Pokemon is 47. Wait, what level is Old Mold in Krata? I haven't even been keeping an eye on that. Are they 50 already? 49? How much experience do they still need? Okay, they need a little bit still. Dude, actually, one more battle. Old Mold is level 50. So you know what that means. I got hiccups. There we go. Old Mold is 50, which means we can take the experience share off of him. Which means other cards gonna level up even quicker now. There we go. I am gonna go back and heal though, because we did get hit by that poison. Do you say crud because of KND? I don't know what that is, man. I'm sorry. Oh, is that Kids Next Door? No, I just say crud because it's. I don't know, it's just a swear word I like. Kids Next Door is pretty cool though. I, I don't remember them saying crud in it though. Oh, this is Snowbell music. There we go. Got to win that Snowbell prize. Level 49. One more level to go on Pico. One more level to go on Sir Pickle as well. And then we just have to level up Froggy. Netflix or Hulu? Um, Netflix has better originals. Hulu has better non-originals. Like, Hulu, Hulu has better... If you just want to watch, like, garbage TV shows then Hulu is the way to go. Just round their level up to 100. I mean, don't get me wrong. 90% of Netflix originals are good. Or, I got that backwards. 90% of Netflix originals are awful. But, like, what does Hulu have original that's actually good? Like, Handmaid's Tale is pretty good, but... Is there anything else that Hulu has original that's actually good? Bojack Horseman? Is that... A, I don't know what that is. It's probably a comedy. I really don't care for comedies. Gosh dang, dude. My neck is killing me! Orange Islands anime. Oh, crud. Wait, did Sir Pickle level up yet? No, not yet. Is Sir Pickle and Pico are gonna level up at almost the same time. And then once we got that... It's going to take no time at all to get Froggy leveled up. Come on, Sir Pickle. Level up, dude. He only needed like 5,000 experience. I guess 5,000 when you're only getting like 100 each is still like 50 battles, so... Gotta be patient. I don't think Sir Pickle's going to level after Pico. I'm pretty sure Pico's going to be the last one. Oh, except for Froggy, of course. Keep getting these low experience guys. Well, Golem's not that bad. Come on, Sir Pickle. Level up, dude. Let me check. How much more does Sir Pickle need? Oops. Still needs 1,200? Holy crud. Dude, maybe... <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Lug Lugia's gonna level up before Sir Pickle does. It can't possibly be true. It can't possibly. <laughs> they might level up in the same battle. That'd be funny. Okay, like 800 experience to go for Sir Pickle. Come on, Sir Pickle. I believe in you. It's the race, guys. Who's going to get there first? Will it be Pico? Will it be Sir Pickle? Sir Pickle has less experience to get, but he's also getting less per battle. Oh, it's going to be close, actually. What the crud? No, not yet? Still no. What the crud? Are they actually going to level at the same time? 
No, Sir Pickle gets 50, guys. Pico, not quite there yet. One more battle to go for Pico. All right, Sir Pickle's now 50. Take that item off of him. Let's go and level up Pico now. There we go, level 50. And now, guys, all that remains is Froggy. So we're going to put them up front. Let's go ahead and take that item off them. And let's go give them... Uh, oops. Let's go give them a leftovers. You know what, real quick, guys. I am going to go and get Waterfall off of uh, my dude here. I don't think I need Waterfall on Scizor. Just in case he gets a new move. That's not Growl or something. So let's go get rid of Waterfall. I mean, I could just get rid of Sandstorm, but whatever. Yeah. So, final Pokemon. No more experience shares going around, so it's all going to go to uh, Froggy here. Guess let's do Bubble Beam. That's basically all we have. We have Dig, I guess. That's kind of one downside right now to uh, Scizor. We just don't really have very good moves. Kind of taking some damage. So we could teach them something, I guess, uh, through TM. I just don't know if we have anything that good. Oh gosh, dude, Meganium's gonna be a problem. Have to hit him three times with Dig, but they also use Dig. Oh my gosh, four times? Got him. Here we go, chance is gonna be a lot easier. A thousand experience in one. Oh yeah, this is gonna go quick. Even though we can't actually kill stuff very quickly with Scizor, because we need so few battles, we're going to get this no problem. Already 40, uh, halfway to 49 there. But yeah, we only have two attacking moves, so we're going to have to go heal quite a lot. You know, I'm just going to run from again. I'm going to go get my PP back here. I do want to get Toxic. I want to teach Toxic to uh, Scizor here, so let's do that real quick. Because I could do Toxic and then I could spam Dig and I could just be an absolute jerk to my enemies. Because they're the only Pokemon I have that can actually learn Toxic. Yeah, Waterfall is special in this game. All, all water attacks are. Honestly, Waterfall is probably better than Bubble Beam. But I'd rather just like not have a water attack. Hopefully I could find something else. I could teach him Silver Wind, I guess. Uh, I think Crunch... I can't remember. Is Dark special? I think Dark is still special. But I can teach him Silver Wind. Well, if he can learn it. It only has 5 PP is the main problem here. And he can learn it. I get that in place of Sandstorm, whatever. I guess I could do Sandstorm and Toxic, or I could have, but now I can't. Oh well. Dark is special. He just used Explosion on me. If only I got, like, Protect or something, that'd be pretty great. Level 49. One level to go. There we go. Meganium, no problem now that we have Silverwind. Should probably go back and heal pretty soon. Thankfully, Leftovers keep me topped up and everything. I guess the new problem Pokemon is Knocked Owl. Uh, Tentacruel. Dig. Yep, got him. I think Dig does make contact, so we have to watch out for that poison, but not a big deal. We might be able to get 50 before we go back and heal, even. Uh, I don't remember what type Shimeko is. I guess Silver One was good. I'm going to go check if I have any kind of PP increasing items. Uh, if I do... Oh, PP Max. Dude, I'm going to use PP Max on Silver, Silver One there. I think that's worth it. Can Scizor get poisoned? I don't think so, because he's immune to poison, being Steel-type, but I think... Oh, gosh. There might be some moves that... You're... Oh, that's actually a good question. I see why you're asking that, because of the contact. So I don't know if they can still get poisoned through contact. That's... I'm actually not sure. Stop protecting yourself. Uh, before Scizor, we had Kakuna. Is this it? No, one more, one more. Uh, let's do Bubble Beam. There it is, guys. Alright, so it's time to pause the music, bring back the game sound. And there it is, the grinding has ended, all of our Pokemon are now level 50. So let's go back and challenge the Elite Four. 
The only thing we have to do really left is to decide which held items we want to give to which Pokemon. I think we want to stick with the choice band on Gyarados. We'll do leftovers probably on Old Mold and also on Vegeta, maybe Lugia. So we'll do leftovers. Hold on. Let's take the leftovers off this guy. So leftovers on Old Mold. Move free learner plus TMs. Um, I don't think we have any heart scales or anything. Oh, battle animations. Yeah, we'll do that. So we got leftovers on Old Mold. Leftovers on Pico. I think we'll do Pico over Vegeta because Pico has the highest HP. Um, so Vegeta will give them... Um, who's a slow Pokemon on our team? We could give someone Quick Claw. I definitely want to give Choice Band to Soggy Toast here. Um, we're going to give the Scope Lens back to Sir Pickle. Scope Lens, Scope Lens. There it is. Let's see. We have two more held items. We have the uh, the Quick Claw. We have Scope Lens. We also have King's Rock. But Quick Claw occasionally allows for the first strike. I think I might... Oh, we can do Mystic Water on Vegeta. You're right. So let's do that. And we'll also give... You know, let's, let's check real quick. Let's see what kind of uh, other held items we have before we go and see what we want to give to Scizor. Okay, let's go to... Uh, oh, not that. Let's go to items. Well, Hayes PC. Let's just deposit some items real quick just to make room. Uh, well, we don't need experience shares anymore, so we'll get rid of those. Let's get rid of... I guess the scope lens, the King's Rock. Let's go withdraw item. Let's see, what do I want to get out of here? Let's go for... Definitely a Mystic Water. Is there anything else that I would want to have? Powers of rock type moves, powers of flying type moves. I mean, that'd honestly be pretty good on its own on Gyarados, but now oh well. Um Magnet, no. Hmm. Maybe we should just do another scope lens on uh Quick Clot to Shuckle. I think leftovers is too important for Shuckle. We've already looked at the department store TMs. Alright, guys, let's just let's just do scope lens. Go to our bag, and we'll do Quick Claw. No, we won't do Quick Claw. We'll just do Mystic Water on Vegeta. And we'll do Scope Lens on Froggy. There we go, dude. Quick Claw for Toxic. Is, um, is Scizor slow? Teach Karate Chop to Froggy? Hmm. He's got, I think his moveset's good. Tell me to save. Okay, I'll save, I'll save. There we go. Scissor's kind of slow. Oh, okay. So yeah, let's give Scissor the Quick Claw then. I thought he was fast for some reason. He looks like a fast Pokemon, but I guess he's not. So Quick Claw on that guy. Now, who do we want to open up for? Now, the first Elite Four battle shouldn't be too tough. I think I'm just going to open with Soggy Toast. And you know what, guys? Let's just fly back and let's get to it. Oh, move animations. I won't forget. I won't forget. Uh, we've already checked the move tutor in Mauville. I There might be other ones, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's go options, and let's go battle scene on. Here we go. Going through the double doors, and we're going to go and fight the Elite Four. Let's see if we can get past these guys. Yeah, we've got all the gym badges. We've got them all. Here we go, dude! Heck yeah! The sound is kind of low. The sound's the same setting I've had it for every single episode, so it's probably fine. <laughs> okay. Through the doors we go. We cannot go back now. We actually can't go back now, guys. We're all healed up. I probably could have bought more full restores, but I've already got 50. So, well, we're stuck. We're stuck. And, uh, wish us good luck. Here we go, dude. Our first Elite Four battle. I don't think this one's going to be too tough. We will out-level the first two battles. Once we get to this battle three and beyond, that's when things are going to get challenging. All right. Here we go, guys. The final battle with Gent Wayne himself. Five Pokemon. My arch nemesis, dude. Slack off. Oh, this is going to feel so good to defeat this guy. Well, we already out-leveled this guy, so we don't have to worry about getting hit by sheer cold. And got him. 
So, down goes Slackoth. That felt so good. Venusaur looks like a battle for Drill Peck. Can we just Drill Peck sweep the entire Elite Four, please? Yo, East Elephant, thank you so much for the bits, dude. Okay, two Pokemon down. Three to go. Next up is Zangoose. Dude, I think we could just Drill Peck a Zangoose, dude. Do we have PP restoring items? I think we might have a couple. This guy's level 49, no joke, but still not in danger of getting hit by one-shot moves. Still a one-shot. Down goes Zangoose. Ho <laughs> ho! Next up is Wigglytuff. Hmm. I think we are gonna swap for this one, guys. Let's go do Cross Chop. Keep in mind, we have Choice Ban on Soggy Toast. I saw some people saying we should do Fly to save PP, but once we use one move, we're stuck with it, so... Um, that's kind of how Choice Ban works. All right, cross chop going in. Remember, this guy is normal type in this game, so super effective. Does it one shot. All right, dude, another one shot. This first battle is a joke. One more Pokemon to go. Nine tails. Well, looks like it's a battle for Vegeta. This is gonna be an easy first battle, but that's kind of what we were expecting, guys. I don't think we're gonna have trouble until battle three and beyond. It's just kind of, kind of a symptom of how this game works. This first trainer, his highest level is like 49, but the champion's highest level is 58. So there's a huge level gap between the start of the Elite Four and the end. All right, Gent Wayne goes down. One shot that Ninetales, no problem. One shot all of his Pokemon. Okay, let's go on and battle the second guy. I still don't think the second battle is going to be too tough. I don't think it's until battle three, but we'll find out. In we go. Bring it on! I think this is Phoebe. I'm Phoebe! She has tough ghost type Pokemon. Woo! Alright, who do we got? We've got ourselves. Gent Ann with five Pokemon. Starting off with Eradicate, dude. We are gonna eradicate this guy with a drill peck. No! Wait, no, it's fine. For a second there, I thought I was Giga Noodle. I'm not. Blizzard's no problem. No problem. Hit him with that drill pick. Down he goes. One shot Radicate. Okay, next up. B drill. Looks like a battle for drill pick, apparently. Dude, drill pick. Can we just sweep the entire leap forward? No, we can't because we'll run out of PP. Oh gosh. Darn it. B drill with his sandstorm. Got some Darude up in here. But we're going to just drill pick the guy again. Choice band drill pick is like 120 base power, so pretty good. No, actually 180, because we got 80 power, then same type of attack bonus, and then choice band, so it's like 180 power. It's basically like hitting this guy with a stronger than hyper beam every turn. Next up is Scizor. Do we have any fire? We do, dude. Vegeta has eruption. Let's go do that, crud. Four time weak to fire. What does Toast drill with? He just like flaps his sogginess all over the guy. Okay, level 50 versus level 50. So we're officially getting to the point where we are evenly matched with levels. Eruption going in. The next Pokemon, I think, is level 51. I think her highest level is 51. And at that point, we will have to worry about one-hit KO moves. It should one-shot. It does. Okay. Not a single Pokemon has survived one turn against me so far. Mischievous coming out. I don't think we have anything good against Mischievous, so we're gonna go for... Um... I guess we'll just go do, like, extra sensory or something? I don't know, man. I guess sending out a gosh dang psychic type against a ghost is pretty dumb, but I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have any ghost attacks. Yeah, I think Drill Pack would've been better. I'm kind of, like, wanting to conserve some PP for Drill Pack. Don't worry, guys, it looks like a dumb move. But watch what happens. Watch what happens once I do my extra sensory. <laughs> I know Pico Roar. Here we go. I guess I could Rain Dance to overwrite his thing, right? Haha, -ha, critical hit! I saw that coming. I knew it would critical hit. Not gonna survive a turn against me. Carvana coming in here. I think Carvana is. I'm pretty sure he's dark and water. Not just water, right? So we could go hit him with a little bit of Sir Pickle Crush. Chwop! <laughs> Tactical crit. I think the crit did matter there. 
Carvana. It's going to be level 51, so keep that in mind, guys. We are in danger of one-hit KOs, but we're probably going to one-hit KO them with our cross drop. Will we be faster? That's the real question. Let's go fight. Here we go. I missed, dude! Don't one-hit KO. Flamethrower! Don't kill me. It's just a Carvana. It's just a Carvana. Okay. If you critical hit me there, I was dead. I... Uh, I don't think I want to risk missing again. I think I'm going to swap here. Yeah, he legit would have killed me if I if I got hit by a critical there. Um, Should I just go for Vegeta and just do whatever the crud? I guess we can just do Pico. Let's just do Pico. Save the cross chop. Yeah, he's a pickle, not a hot dog. Okay, flamethrower, not a big deal against Pico. Just going to be neutral. Even a burn's not that big of a deal at this point. Sandstorm. Gosh dang it, Sandstorm. I can't do extra sensory because he's part um, dark type, but I could go for that rock of throw. Yeah, what's up, Chica? Yeah, we're definitely over time today, but that was the plan. I'm... Oh, gosh dang it, I'm missing everything! But yeah, we're going into the end of the Elite Four. Darn it, game! Just let me hit the guy! I miss Cross Chomp, and then I miss Rock of Throw. At least we're getting lots of speed boosts that I don't need. Oh my gosh, we have to watch Sandstorm, and then we have to watch Speed Boost, and then we have to watch Leftovers. Hit the guy. There we go, Rock of Throw. And got him. Critical hit. Tactical crit. So easy. So easy, guys. So we are going to have to heal up here, but with two gym battles, or two Elite Four battles down, there's just two to go, plus the champion. But from here on, almost every single Pokemon is going to be able to one-hit KO us if they have the uh, the right attacks on their side. Okay, we're going to use a big ol' heal right there. Let's go use some smaller heals to top up these other guys. I don't like to go into Elite Four battles without full HP. Like, I, I don't even care, man. I'm just going to use my Super Potions, get everyone completely topped up. Healing up 11 HP, that's fine. There we go. Okay, we're gonna once again lead with Soggy Toast. It's been going very well so far. Let's go get to battle number three. From this point on, I am very nervous about our chances of success. We got Glacia. Xbox has an item. We don't even have Xbox with us. All right, teach Lugia fly. We can do that. Gent P. With five Pokemon, starting off with Dratini. Come on, guy. Just a Dratini. Well, let's go for Drill Peck. The best move in the game, defeating the entire game with Drill Peck. One shot, stinking Dratini. It's basically a baby. Get him out of here. Another Carvana. You know what, dude? Last Carvana, too much of a pain. This time, we Drill Pecking. Okay, this guy's level 50. No problem. Down he goes. Yeah, we do have to worry about Horn Drill if they're faster, but we're level 51, guys. So now level 51s can't Horn Drill us, I think. Swinub coming in. Uh, I guess we'll just go do like a Surf. Gosh dang it, Swinub. It's Bunwiz, man. Yeah, this Bunwiz could sheer cold us. This is not a free victory. Unless we one-shot. If we one-shot, it's a definitely free victory. Come on, game, get that one-shot. Yes! Dude, I just one-shot everything. This is the easiest game I've ever played. Marsh Stomp coming in. Uh, we're gonna go for... Uh, I think we're just gonna go for Extra Sensory over here. Is your starter still alive? No, we lost him a while ago. We lost him on Gym 2. Have Old Mold tank the champion? We could. Alright guys, Extra Sensory going in. Defeat this Marsh Stomp. Our first non-one-shot, Hydro Pump coming in. It's going to have same type of attack bonus. Still not going to do that much. We get the speed boost, which does not really matter. We're going to try to critical hit him this time, because the critical hit will matter. If we don't critical, then he's going to spend the turn healing. Come on. No, no critical. Hydro Pump going in again. So we'll go ahead and attack. Oh, he gets the crit. I am tempted to also spend a turn healing right now after that. Okay, here's the plan. 
I'm going to go ahead and just attack him because we're going to get leftovers from here. We'll get leftovers from the next turn as well while he heals. I want to see if we can get that tactical crit. If we can crit the guy, we can just hit him again before he gets a chance to even hurt us. All right, here we go. And there it is, man. Got the crit. That's exactly what I was planning around. So we get the crit, and now we just get to kill him before he even gets a chance to hurt us again. Or he'll just heal again, get another potion out of his system. Get him out of here, dude! So now we're just going to heal even more with our leftovers. Leftovers putting in so much work right now. Okay, crit again. No, not going to crit again, but that's okay. I think we're pretty safe at this point. We've healed up enough. So we'll attack again, hopefully get a crit. If not, that's fine. We're healing a lot from these leftovers. Come on. Get another crit. Not going to happen. Out comes Hydro Pump, but if he crits me... Not a big deal. And I don't think he's got a third full restore, but if he does, it's probably about to come out right now. Wasting so much PP? Not a big deal, because uh, Extra Sensory has 30 PP, which is quite a lot. Alright, down goes Marshtomp, the first Pokemon to really put up a fight here. I don't think we're done. Not to coming in. Ah, oh, jeez, game. I guess it's time for Old Mold. We'll go hit him with that Rock of Blast. This is his final Pokemon. Level 53 right now. Let's get that Rocket Blast. Future Sight, not a big deal. No Fissure, no Horn Drill, no Sheer Cold. Oh gosh, even five will not kill this guy. Two? Darn it, game. What is he doing? What is that? He's glowing, I think it's just Sky Attack. Okay, five hits, kill the guy. Come on, Old Mold. Okay, three's not going to do it. You need more than three. Gosh dang it, Old Mold, you got three. Whatever he was charging, he's going to get to hit us with that. Is he... Please just be an Orinberry. Oh, it's a Citrus Berry. I think Nightshade is still the way to go here. Okay, Sky Attack should not do that much, right? Oh my gosh, 29. We're fine. And here it comes, guys. Nightshade going out. Down goes the third battle. You can kind of see the semblance of them starting to put up a fight. But so far, we, we've been doing good because we haven't fought strong Pokemon. We fought high levels, of course, but they haven't had anything crazy yet. So we might just get lucky. Only two more battles left we have to get lucky for, guys. I still think the grinding was necessary because if we were level 40, even some of these weaker Pokemon would still destroy us. I mean, keep in mind, before grinding, Froggy was level 36, dude. There we go. So we're all healed up, and leading with Soggy Toast has been going so good, I'm going to go ahead and just lead with them again. We have not had to use any items in battle yet, except for, I guess, leftovers if you count that. Alright guys, the final battle of the Elite Four. There's still the champion after, but this is the big guy. This is Drake himself. Let's go. The Dragon Master. Yeah, this guy's going to have some pretty high levels. This is going to be tough. If he has any Pokemon that are even remotely decent, this is going to be a tough battle. Gent Christine, five Pokemon. Starting off with a Pidgeot. All right, that's a pretty decent battle. We just have to hope he does not have Electric here. Let's go for Drill Peck. No! No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Soggy Toast. Soggy Toast. Oh! Oh, we are alive, dude! Holy crud! Yes! Do we one-shot? No, we don't one-shot him. Okay, Pokemon, we're gonna swap right away. I guess Electric, what would we even want to use? I guess we'll do Old Mold. We'll do Old Mold, he's got the Rock Crud. Holy crud, I am so glad we're alive right now. Okay, he goes for his full restore right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the long game, guys. I'm going for the Leech Seed, and we're gonna start spamming whatever the crud we need to. Leaf Blade coming in. We can't use Nightshade on this guy, because he's part normal. Okay, we got the Leech Seed. We have leftovers as well. So if he goes for leech, uh, Leaf Blade, no problem. We'll go for Rock of Blast. If things get desperate, we'll go for Dig. Now, doing this is going to have one big advantage, which is he has Drill Peck. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We have one big advantage, which is we're going to get all of his uh, heals out of him. All of his full restores will be wasted on this Pokemon here. Let's see how much this heals me for. I might need to start abusing Dig here. Oh, wow. 
Dude, drill peck, and we still are back at full HP. Old mold, dude. Let's go for rocket blast again. With Drew, oh, my leap seed is gone. Sand slash. Sand slash. All right, that's not going to do crud for damage. But we can do night shit against this guy, so that's fine. Okay, let's go for leap seed. I mean, I know Dig would not hit Pidgeot, but it would still stall him. That actually didn't do that much. Got that Leech Seed, so I could spam Dig just to heal up a lot. Um, or I could go for Nightshade and do huge damage. 50 damage from Old Mold is pretty big, dude. I mean, go ahead, withdraw, get rid of your stinking Leech Seed if you want. I'm just going to keep healing up all the damage you do. Do as much damage as you want, I will heal all of it. Flinch me if you want. Nightshade, watch this damage, guys. Old Mold is a pretty big damage dealer now. Yeah, pretty good chunk right there. Out comes the uh, heal from the Leap Seed as well. Send in Vegeta. We could, but there's just no need, man. Old Mold is going to end this battle with full HP. Oh, you're right, dude. We could spend one turn healing up Soggy Toast while we wait. That is so smart. Thank you, guys. Boom. Soggy Toast going back to full. He misses as well. Man, I think at this point, we're probably going to kill him with Nightshade, and I don't think he's going to heal, so we don't have to worry about, uh, well, this battle taking too long. Frenzy Plant. All right, guy. You do you. 14 damage. Well, because we kill him before the Leap Seed, I guess we're not going to get back to full, but we'll still get some from Leftovers, I think. All right, guys. Down goes Sand Slash. Out comes Mighty Enna. Looks like a battle for Sir Pickle. We'll go hit him with that Cross Chwop. Alright. I mean, Old Mold is pretty strong, but he almost got one shot earlier today, so the wrong if we get up against the wrong opponent, he could get destroyed. Uh, you know what, guys? Just to be safe, I am going to start with Spore. Spore has a 100% accuracy, so why the could would I not go for it? Signal Beam? You think Signal Beam would be better? Alright. Let's do that, Crud. Uh, Signal Beam is physical attack in this game, so... Actually, very good! Gosh dang, Sir Pickle! Yeah, all bug attacks are, uh, are physical. Chin Chow coming in. Okay, electric and water. Hmm. Should we just stay in? This is one of our only Pokemon that's not weak to this guy. Uh, I guess we'll just stay in here. I mean, we could go to Scizor and use Dig, I guess, but we'll just stay. We'll just stay. You know what? I'm just going to abuse Spore. Let's do it again. Get that guy put to sleep. In my opinion, the best move in the game. There we go. I'd like to see him hit me with an insta-kill while he's asleep, dude. Good luck with that, crud. Here goes my signal beam. Should do some pretty big damage. Oh my gosh. Almost one shot. He wakes up. Thunder. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, loser. Oh, he does not even go for a heal. I don't even know if he has a second full restore. There we go, dude. It's actually the worst move in the game because Paris gets it. Oh, man. Out comes Totodile. Man, we have just had the easiest Elite Four I have ever seen. There's been not a single strong Pokemon. Not even one. There's been no legendaries. What the crud? This is too easy, man. P. Shaw. There's just no way we can lose. We got Totodile. He's only got one Pokemon left. I can't think of anything he could have that I would be scared of. I mean, we still have the champion, of course. Oh, don't have a stinking berry. Well, it's gonna probably make things... Well, we actually still might kill him. Go down. Oh, we got him, guys. One Pokemon left for the Elite Four. Then we just have the champion to go. Alright, it's just Pidgeot. Duh. So we'll go back over to, uh, hmm. Well, definitely not Soggy Toast. Definitely not anyone who is weak to electric. I guess we'll just go back to Old Mold here. Dude, I'm calling it, guys. The champion is going to have three baby Pokemon and three legendaries. All right, so he's still a little bit damaged. We get the leftovers right there. I'm going to get that Leech Seed back on this guy. Drill Pet coming in. It's okay. Let's see. It works good. I don't think we'll have any explosions, guys. I lost the video files for my explosions when my server died. So I, I don't actually have the files for them anymore. 
I don't even know where I got them. I got them like 10 years ago. I can't even remember where I got them from. Uh, we can't do Nightshade because he's part normal, so we'll go for Rock Blast. If we get five hits out of this Rock Blast, I'm pretty sure he's just going to go down. Or we'll just miss. Good job, Alt Mold. He probably still has a full restore, but because this is his final Pokemon, he cannot swap and get rid of the Leech Seed this time. All right. Okay, Drill Pet coming in again. Even a critical is no big deal. There we go. I don't think two will be enough. We need more than two. I think three will be enough, though. All right, we got three. So even if this doesn't kill, Leech Seed will. There we go. And Leech Seed, finish him off. That's it, guys. The Elite Four is officially defeated. There is just one battle to go. We just have the champion. And this guy's highest level is 58. So we have to be very... Very careful here. But alright, Jen Christine going down. We have to defeat Wall Ace! I don't care about your virtuous heart. I just want to get out of here. I want to heal up real quick. Let's go get some super potion out. Let's top up old mold. Honestly, dude, we haven't even had to heal that much. I'm kind of surprised. All right, the final battle. His lowest level is 55. He has three 56s, a 57 and a 58. Bring it on, Wall Ace. Oh. Gotta get to this text, guys. Come on. Bring it on, you crud. Oh, the music, dude. Here we go, the final battle. With Leader Malcolm, the actual leader. Six Pokemon here. Starting off with a Lady Fa. <laughs> All right, dude. We got our first uh, freebie. This is basically a baby Pokemon. All right, hit him with that drill peck. Same as all the other battles. Down goes Lady Ba. Five Pokemon stand between us and total victory. What's next? Iggly Buff. What the crud game? Looks like a battle for drill peck. All right, here's his second baby. We'll just count Lady Ba as one of the babies. Down goes Iglybuff, I'm sure. One shot. Come on, game. There we go. Critical hit as well, even though we probably didn't need it. Oh my gosh, he's got static. All right, next up is going to be a gosh dang seal. Okay, who do we want to use against seal? Uh, we don't really have any electric or water. I guess we'll just go do Sir Pickle, whatever, man. Gosh dang it, game. Alright, so these are his three weak Pokemon. That means the next three are going to be extremely tough. I just got to hope this guy does not have Sheer Cold. He's going to be level 55, so this is his lowest level Pokemon. Spore going in. We do have the speed advantage. So we're just going to do the Spore Signal Beam tactic, as we've done in the last battle. Dude, look how happy that seal is. Happy to get destroyed by my Signal Beam. Will this even do half? It will, wow. And it's not low enough that he's going to heal. So, seal going down. Three Pokemon down, guys. We are halfway through this battle. Got him. All right, let's see what, we, what he has next. Croconaw. What the crud game? That's it. A stinking Croconaw. You got to have at least one strong Pokemon. This is his level 58. This is the highest level he has. Is he going to... Is the Elite Four going to have even one strong Pokemon? We haven't fought a single strong Pokemon in the entire Elite Four yet. All right. Signal Beam that guy. Not going to do half on this guy. He wakes up right away. Goes for Arrow Blast. That might actually hurt a lot. Sir Pickle, do not die. Sir Pickle, okay. No critical. We're fine. If I go for Spore, we do get to go first, but I think we're going to swap. I think we're going to go over to Pico here. Okay, our first our first opponent actually putting up a fight here. Arrow blast again. That's fine. That should be fine on Pico. Wow, critical hit. Come on, game. I'm pretty sure that move has a high crit chance, but still. Okay, let's go back to fight. Let's go. I guess just extra sensory. Keep it simple. Hopefully, two more hits will do it. Oh, we get the tactical crit. Down goes his highest level, Krokina. Krokona is out of here. Two more Pokemon. Okay, someone called it. The champion does have a Tyranitar. I guess we're going to go do some cross chop. No, we can just... Oh, Sir Pickle's... Sir Pickle's not in a good spot. 
You know what? Froggy needs to show us what he's worth. Let's go. We're gonna do Toxic. We're gonna do Dig. Let's go, dude. All right. We gotta have Froggy at least do something during this playthrough. So let's do the cheese tactics. Level 56 on this guy. What's it gonna have? Weather Ball. Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Critical hit. 23 damage. Come on, guys. Okay. Let's start cheesing him. Or we can just do Bubble Beam. Let's just do Bubble Beam. Let's not cheese it that hard. Oh, Silver Wind is super effective? Really? I did not know that. I guess Bubble Beam is as well, but that's not gonna do crud. Wish? What is that? Is that just a heal? Um... I don't know what Wish just did. Hopefully he did not wish for my demise. Okay, so Silver Wind. I forgot that was super effective for some reason. That should do much bigger damage. Holy crud! Good job, Froggy! Okay, Tyranitar, a tough Pokemon with a terrible moveset. I think he is going to heal here unless he dies. Oh, the wish came true, so he does get to heal up right there. Heals up quite a lot, even. But he does get hit by that poison. The longer he stalls, the longer the poison is going to build up and build up. Silver one going in. This might be it. Yes, critical hit. Froggy doing some work. Down goes Tyranitar. One Pokemon left to go to beat this game. Nidoqueen. Well, who should we use against Nidoqueen? I think Pico. Pico's kind of hurt a little bit. No. Not Pico, guys. Our one true champion. The only Pokemon that deserves to be the one to win the run. Old Mold. Let's go. The final Pokemon. It's gonna be level 56, I think. There it is. So, let's get that Leaf Seed going. They've got Flamethrower! That's not good. Okay, never mind. That's not a big deal. Leaf Seed going in. Old Mold, you are the one true champion. Show us just how powerful you really are. We could start spamming Dig. That'll be pretty good. But Nightshade, Nightshade is 50 damage. I think that's going to be our best option here. Let's go. That does a little bit of damage, but we're just going to heal all that back up. As long as we don't get burned, we are fine. 50 damage is a pretty good chunk right there. Top that off with some Leap Seed, and they're already below half. This might be the final turn in our challenge, guys. Here we go. Flamethrower, not doing crud. Nightshade going in. And not enough. Oh, he's going to heal. He's going to heal. All right, this might take a little bit longer, guys. All right, go ahead. Do your stinking full restores. Kind of wish we had Toxic on him so that we could uh, build up some more power and crud. Or build up some more poison damage, but yeah, well. Just got <laughs> just gotta stall for a little while here. Nightshade does a pretty good chunk, though, you gotta admit. I think three turns would be enough to take him down. The only problem is we're gonna probably get him to heal a third time. Or second time, whatever. Yeah, poison types immune to that. That's why we can't go for toxic, but I wish we could. Alright. I think we have just one more move to go. Do not heal again. Let us win! Gosh dang it, game! Full restore going in again, delaying the inevitable. There is no way you could defeat us. Go back in with that Nightshade. I mean, maybe secretly he has a one-hit KO move, but right now, things are looking good. <laughs> Classic old mold. I don't care about your stinking flamethrower, dude. Alright, Nightshade. Finish this guy off. Heal spam, how does it feel? I thought I was going to be the one spamming four restores, but I haven't had to do any healing in battle except for the one time we decided to heal Soggy Toast, which was not even important in the end. Gosh dang it, game! Stop it! Stop it! Please! Just let me win! Hit him with that Nightshade. Again. He's trying to PP stall me, but it's not going to work. Old Mole's gonna, like, die of old age before this battle is over. I'm surprised he has not got a burn on me after all these flamethrowers, but I guess we're just lucky. Okay. This is the time. This, for real, is the final turn. He cannot have another full restore. Game! Stop it! Please! How many full restores does this crud have? 
He ha- He has six! He has six! What?! I'm gonna run out of Nightshade. I'm gonna have to start spamming Dig. This is the longest single Pokemon ever. Huh. <sighs> Alright, so we're about to run out of Nightshades. Yeah, we'll use Dig, guys. We'll use Dig here. Throw a ball. Alright, guys. We're gonna capture this Nidoqueen. Here we go! We're gonna throw our gosh dang Pokeball. Hold down B. Come on. Gosh dang it! It bounced off their face. It's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. He can't heal again, can he? Haha, -ha, we tricked him! Maybe if we throw balls, he'll be tricked into not healing his guy, and then he'll die from Leech Seed. See, I got the tactics, guys. I got the tactics. We throw those balls, he's not gonna heal. Look at that crud! Look at that crud! He's not gonna heal! He's gonna die to Leech Seed! That's what's gonna happen! Haha! -ha! Guys, have you ever seen a Pokemon Emerald or any Nuzlocke have the final move being throwing a Pokeball at the opponent's Pokemon. Now that is how you end the series, guys. We win. We are the champions, my friends. Down goes Leader Malcolm. He falls in defeat. Heck yeah, dude. But you know what, guys? Hold on. Let's get through this real quick. Turbo cutscenes! Ah! Yeah, ah! Oh, I need- I need credits! I need credits! Ah! Alright. Here we go, guys. Saving the game. And here is the Hall of Fame. But I've decided, guys, that crud was too easy. So we are going to do a gosh dang post-game episode. We will go capture Kyogre and Groudon, and we will battle the champion Steven. His highest Pokemon is in the 80s, I think. And we'll probably not grind for that either. We'll just, we'll just, uh, you know what? Grinding made the Elite Four too easy. We'll see how the champion fares against our level 50s. So, we will be back next week. I don't know when, but we'll be back for that crud. And one final thing, guys. To wrap up the series, after we've done all that crud, we're going to go and capture a Swinub. We're going to evolve them and see what Bunwiz should have been all this time. For now, let's go check out the credits, guys. We have beaten the game. So, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. We are not quite done yet. I'll see you guys next time for the post-game episode. And then that'll be it for the entire year. It's been quite a ride, guys. This has been one of my favorite Nuzlocke's we've ever done. I've had so much fun with it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. But, I guess I'm going to be signing out. Take care! This is where things get awkward. Because normally, I would just stop talking during the credits. But I'm doing a live stream. So I kind of can't just stop talking during the credits. <laughs> oh man, Xbox has an item. Man, I, I'm i not going to be bamboozled. We don't even have Xbox. Dude, think of all of the Pokemon we lost during this run. We lost our entire team to Gym 2. Honestly, guys, this run was kind of weird. The start of the game was brutal. But once we got to the end, the last, like, two gyms in the Elite Four were all so easy. There was not a single scary Pokemon in the entire Elite Four. I mean, not to say that, like, Nidoqueen and Pidgeot and stuff are not that strong. But, I mean, they're not legendaries. We didn't fight a single legendary. The Elite Four has 26 Pokemon, and we fought no legendaries in the entire time. I think Victory Road was tougher than the Elite Four, guys. Victory Road was actually terrifying. We were so close to death like three different times in the in Victory Road. I just think it would be so beautiful, guys, if we get Bunwiz. Oh my gosh, Bunwiz was right there. But if we could get Bunwiz and we evolve them and they turn into a bug Pokemon, I just think that would be so beautiful. Who survived? Well, everyone who was in the final team right here made it to the end. No one died in the Elite Four. So we have Lugia, we have Gyarados, we have Kyogre, Pinsir, oh, I'm so happy Sir Pickle survived, dude. Um, we have Shuckle, Old Mold, and we have Scizor. Rare candy cheat. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's like, it's kind of a death sentence to not grind for Steven, but because we've already beat the challenge, and because grinding has made this so easy, here's the thing, guys. I know in hindsight, it's like, oh, we shouldn't have grinded. That made that too easy. 
but you have to prepare for what they could have because it is a randomizer. So if we went in without grinding, if they had just one strong Pokemon, the run was instantly over. You know, if we had a level, if we had a level uh, 43 or whatever as our highest Pokemon, we go up against the champion. His level 58 is a legendary. The run was just over. There'd be no chance. The end. Until post game. <laughs> Until post game. Man, what a series, guys. What a series. It feels so good after failing the Pokemon Emerald Challenge in 2013 and then again in 2015. We finally come back for redemption. And there it is. We win. So, with that, guys, hello to the end. And I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here for today. We'll come back next time. And uh, we'll do post game. But do we do we do crud art? Do you guys want to see crud art? I guess we should. How can we not do crud art? Uh, okay, I'll reach over and I'll strum the banjo. Listen carefully, guys. Okay, let's go get some crud art here. Let's see. I think I actually posted a message to like keep track of where I was for myself. I've already seen this. There's my message. Okay, there we go. So everything after that should be uh, should be new crud art. So I'm just going to get this all open, guys. We're going to have one big final round of crud art. Well, we'll probably do crud art in the post-game episode. I don't know, man. But let's go get all this crud open. Let's see, a lot of this is still from last Wednesday. I mean, to be fair, it's been a little while since we had a stream, right? We didn't have one since Monday. Um, let's not click on that one. Yeah, when they have spoiler tags, I can't actually see if they're safe pictures, so I just don't open them. <laughs> okay, we almost... I think we almost got it all, actually. We're already at stuff for today. Guys, this is a long episode. I hope you guys don't mind that we have a three-hour episode, but... I mean, it, it is the finale, so... I, I, I feel like it's fine. Oh, whoa! We sat at the end so long, it just went away. We almost have it all open. <laughs> Dude, there's so much old mold crud art randomly. Is it because old mold was the champion at the end? Alright guys, this is all of it. This is the final round of crud art. So, let's get to it, guys. First off, we've got the Elite Four, which is honestly not that far off. I think there was only one actual baby, but there was a lot of pretty weak Pokemon. I mean... Again, you gotta be fair. Stuff like Mightyena, Pidgeot, uh, Nidoqueen, those are not bad Pokemon. They're just not they're just not extraordinary or anything. And my team is just too good. Who would win? Some super powerful dragon Pokemon or some ice. Definitely the ice. We, oh my gosh, we got a dude standing next to a shuckle. Looks I think it was Heart Gold Soul Silver. Let's see what we got okay, yeah, that's that's definitely worth catching. Hello! You're already dead. Gosh dang it, Sir Pickle. We never caught the Latios, but we did get Lugia. We believe in Iwahe 3, all of our fallen comrades. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on here. I don't even know what to think about this, but it's amazing. We got Pasquale, Gabo, and Old... Oh, they named him Old Mold. Heck yeah, man. The best shuckle I've ever had. Wahe. Look at that Wahe. Unfortunately, these are not all the Pokemon that made it to the end, but... Hey. It's okay. Keep pressing that B. Look at this, guys. All of the Pokemon we've caught throughout the run turned into a B button. Yeah! Oh, and he's pressing it. He's actually pressing his own B button. I was playing my own Emerald Nuzlocke when I caught this legendary. Dunsparce, yes, from the fossil. What if his Emerald was in the future? My Dunsparce died, got fossilized, and then in the future he found the fossil and boom, Dunsparce. Rayquaza returns to raid with a Radiant Reveal. I don't even know what that means, but all right. Wait, who are you? You know who I am. I do. I'm you, but stronger. And then he dies. We never actually got to use the guy. And he evolved into a baby. Got a gosh dang pickle. Xbox previously on Nuzlocke. Yeah, we actually lost... Man, part 11. We lost... Well, we had to release Dunsparce, and then we lost Hotels and um, Giga Noodle in the same episode. Got the Umbreon plush, Mr. Donut Boy, next to the kitty. 
Oh, kitty. Mini Noodle. Man, I wish deep down they were actually Groudon. They still might be. To be fair, they still might be, because they have... They're Igglybuff. Igglybuff could still evolve, so I don't know what they'll become. Oh, dang. We got the we got the Yarn Yoshi pressing the B button right there. Yeah. Good luck with this butthead. It actually turned out to be not too bad. So, we got him. Wall Ace. Is he wearing some weird overalls? What that crud? I hope he has underwear on. We'll catch something later, guys. <laughs> I hope we, uh... Get something good, because in the post-game episode, we will catch Groudon and Kyogre. I just don't know what they'll actually be. I mean, if, uh, if Rayquaza turn into a Iggly buff, then we'll see what those guys turn into. Trainer card Wahe 3, friend code sub to Psycho. Oh, man. Look at that team. Unfortunately, we, we did leave Xbox on the bench. Xbox did not die, but we left them on the bench for Pico. Wahe B. Oh, it's kind of the same thing, but Bunwiz gets to evolve into a Groudon. I'll be so happy if if Bunwiz actually turns into Groudon. <laughs> look at look at Froggy. Uh jeez. Okay, guys, here's all the past champions. Oh man, here's the failed attempt. Dang. Don't talk to me or to my son ever again. Gosh dang it, Grimer and Muck. Well, hey, the best NPC in any Pokemon game. Feel the burn. Uh, I guess this is like Bernie Sanders, but it's Hotel's Dying. What the crud? How, why'd you do that? I fear no man, but that thing. Some people say it was Vigoroth. Some people say it was Slackoth. I thought it was Vigoroth, but then people were commenting that it was Slackoth, so I don't actually know who killed him, but I'm guessing it was Slackoth. Who are you? I'm you, but stronger. Uh-oh. The Cubicola. Too many bees to press with one hand. It's covered in bees. Um, we got a bird. It's a bird. Pico! Yeah! Pressing the B's on the subscribe button. There we go. Pressing the B on Batman, Breath of the Wild, Captain America. Guys, I actually finally have been watching the Marvel movies. I watched... I, I saw... I saw Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, and the Incredible Hulk. I saw that in theaters. His name is Pico. Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. Hey, Pico. But yeah, I finally watched the first Thor, the first Captain America, and the first Avengers. So I've now seen all those. I have not seen anything beyond that. Previously on Nuzlocke. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lugia is everywhere. Mini Noodle grows restless. There we go, it's updated. So he still could be Groudon. <laughs> Threquaza unmasked him. It's Iggly buff. Of course it is. Nobody loves me. Chat, please show Xbox how much we love him. Less than three. You guys got this. He's back! Windows XP. He gives me the repel, I throw it away. But if he gives me rare candy, yeah. No balls left behind. That is true, guys. We left like four balls in the aqua hideout. Oh, there's Pico. Look at the love. Look at the Pico. It's beautiful. Never put Noodle in someone's name. I guess Noodle is like a death sentence. Mini Noodle level 71. They're so buff. Guys, we actually already have an Iggly buff, so we technically have two Iggly buffs. The crew hanging out. <laughs> so many deaths. Oh my gosh, poop deck. Poor poop deck. Why did you not mention that beforehand? Oh, we got the B. There's Xbox. Fear not, fellow stream companions. I, Xbox, will never fade away. I'm merely providing better gaming footage for you with all my Kinect camera. Okay. And there's the repel right there. Oh, Xbox. Catching a dunce, Sparse. Gotta get himself that egg. Fun fact, Scott is actually Ash's father. I doubt... I doubt that. Old mold? Black. Gold mold? Black. Gold gold? Ah. This is the... That's the, what this face is, guys. Ah. Old gold? Oh my gosh. Next level. Congratulation. Oh, crud, guys. There's the team. So this is when we got to the point where we actually beat the game. Old gold mold. Oh my gosh, it's getting so deep. I can't handle all this. Old mold. <laughs> His beard is mold. I love it. He's so cute. And so creepy and gross at the same time. Oh man, egg. Only egg. Master of all four elements could defeat the Elite Four, but when Psycho needed... <laughs> Is this an Avatar reference? I need to watch Avatar. You know what I really want to go back and watch is the original Teen Titans. I remember loving that credit as a kid. I don't know if it holds up today, but 
I want to go back and watch that. Gold mold is the best. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the team. Look at Froggy's little hat. Sir Pickle, all lumpy and gross. We got Pico with the bird beak. Why, hey, three looking really unamused. Vegeta with the hair and the and the grunt, uh, grumpy face like he always has. And Old Mole, he's just so old. Oh, can't forget Soggy Toast. And can't forget Xbox. Look at this guy. That's an awesome, awesome credit art. You were challenged by Pokemon trainer Old Mold, the true final battle with Old Mold himself. That would be scary. And all right, guys, the final crud art of the video. Expanding brain memes. Winning the battle by damaging the Pokemon with critical moves. Winning the battle by damaging the Pokemon with status effects. Winning the battle by self-destruct. Winning the game by throwing Pokeballs at the trainer's Pokemon. Now that is some galaxy brain right there, guys. And with that... We are done with Crud Art, guys, and we're going to go and wrap things up here for today. Thank you all for so much for watching, and I'll see you for post-game. Take care.